You pay for the marble floors, you pay for the air conditioner, and you pay for the shiny windows. Uh, you don't want that shit? Go buy it off the street. What up and welcome back to another episode here of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Thank you so much, everybody, for patiently waiting. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Was it Thanksgiving weekend this weekend? 
Yep. Oh, but we checked in on Saturday, right? Yeah, we checked in on Saturday. Yeah, we checked in on Saturday. So once again, I hope you had a great weekend if you're barely fucking starting to check in right now because we already know it takes a long time to get back into the groove. I personally want to thank you guys. Uh, first off, for everybody who bought anything off my website for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you guys kept me busy. I didn't have shit to do. I, I barely had a time to bowl an hour, and then I went back home to fucking go package these orders. So this weekend, I'll probably be taking out my lady somewhere nice. You know? Nice. Just because I'm like, we didn't do shit last weekend. You know what I mean? You know, you're like, hey, sacrifice is my business. Eh? Oh, because you didn't do no Black Friday with her that Saturday shit because you were busy, right? Oh, no. Like, thing? I mean, <clears throat> normally, like, we don't, like, she's not really, like, the shopping type. Like, she don't really like that. Like, she likes it, but she's like, shops online. Yeah. But, like, I'm just, like, I don't know. Like, I... I didn't I, like usually on the weekends is my time with her. So I usually go out and like do something. We'll go have dinner or something. But this time I was like, hey, man, this is the busiest time of the year for me. So I might have to stay in here and just package shit up because I literally spent like the last fucking six days in my PJs. Yeah. No, like dude. shorts and a cut off fucking shirt. And uh, joining me <clears throat> is my co-host XG. What's up, dog? What's up? No, you're right. Shit's busy as fuck. You know how I went to that Monarch concert? Oh, yeah, you went to the, yeah. the what did you say, Mara or Mara? Mara. Mara. I was like, Mara is MS, oh. fool. <laughs> I was like, no, and, I needed a, and I needed a white tee, and it was Saturday, and I was like, oh, why a white tee? Huh? <laughs> For like the fucking, the, whatever, I needed, whatever t shirt I had under. I didn't need a white tee. And I decided to go to the mall on Saturday. I thought the Black Friday was over. I thought Thanksgiving, I, dude, it's when people are mad at the mall. When's the last time you went to the mall? Like for the holidays. I don't go to the malls that like are around me. Like, for example, the mall that you go to, that is the bougie ghetto mall. Still past <laughs> Glendale Galleria. That is where people who are tired of seeing, uh, you know, like criminals, and cockroaches steal from, from Fox Hills and fucking <laughs> Crenshaw Mall and fucking uh, all these other fucking local malls. They go to Glendale Mall and they're like, at least right here, Armenians won't let this shit go down. And they're, they're correct. Armenians will fucking stand their ground when it comes to shit that they don't like. Like a lot of Middle Eastern motherfuckers. So it is predominantly a safe mall for yeah. the most part. But it does get packed because of that reason. It's the closest, quote unquote, safe, bougie ass mall. And they still have the Americana across the street. Yeah, and they, and that was like fairly new. That's been there for like ten years or fifteen years. I remember when it was being built. I used to work Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, and bro, hey. for for real. Welcome, welcome back, Ray. What's up? Hey, so I got a like. This is a serious question, kind of like serious topic. Do you think this might be the most dangerous Christmas there's ever been in LA? Like, like you're talking about. Like, let's say you're at the mall. You buy, you buy your family, you know, that one day que vas a comprar for the whole, hey, I'm going to go one day. But you know, and, and you're walking to your car with eight, seven bags. I guarantee you they're going to come in the, hot. The this thing year. is, though, is like fools are starting to jack you like they know what kind of stores to look out for. So they go to certain stores like they'll, they'll go to the Beverly Hills Center. They'll follow you. Huh? Yeah, a lot of them. Follow you from the store. A ver cuánto, qué tanto estás comprando. I'm like, yeah. I just bought a bluey. Dude, I'm always looking at my back all the time. Whenever I see, whenever I hear somebody behind me, I'm one of those fools that like I will stop, go look at you, and keep walking to let these people know you're not gonna creep up behind me, and you don't know what I'm gonna fucking bust out if I feel that you're gonna threaten me. And believe me, if you look grimy, I got my gun on my hip. At the mall. Like in certain public places, yeah, I can't. I, I keep. Don't my, blame me. That, that guy saved his life. We we talked about. I keep my twenty. I yeah. keep my like at least if I'm gonna go to a public place, I have my twenty two on me, dog. You come at close range, I'm going under right here. Like that's just gonna go through your fucking dome. According to USA Today, <clears throat> the worst Christmas in recent history was in two thousand one, when five hundred seventy five people were killed. That can be DUIs too, though, right? Maybe. Yeah, it could be. It's a combination of, of all these things. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause guess who got a DUI? Damn. No. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was like, wait up. You made me think no, of that. No, I was like, no. did he? No, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying because he had the worst look for a second. No, no, I was he, like. He, uh, he, he, he pushes the limits sometimes. Not no more. But back when he was fucking no se portaba bien, he was pushing limits. But no, Tiffany Haddish. You didn't, you didn't oh, see yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I saw that shit. Got her second one. Fuck you, Larry. And if you see her when she's getting arrested, the sun's up on Friday morning. Yeah. So you're not so you first of all, they always tell you never drink on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Those are dangerous days to even be on the road because there's dumbasses like her. And uh I'm glad I you was, called her a dumbass. Thank yeah, you. Because I got a DUI and I learned my lesson. Stop being a dumbass. There's Ubers and there's Lyft. I got mine before Ubers and Lyft, so it's a little bit, you know. I, I, I earned mine. Not really, but uh no, what well, I was saying you, is technically you did yeah. on the fourth of July, pendejo. I, but I didn't even blow over the limit. America's I was just—I didn't even blow over the limit. I was just underage. I, I was supposed to. I think that's why Uncle zero, Sam zero, got you because you did it on America's Day. They're like, "You're illegal." 
You know what? I, I, well, you're right. I didn't that's look at it like that. Yeah, like Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Sam, like, they look, they scanned your license and that fool said it like Pineapple Express. <laughs> Illegal. And of all the and, days you could have gone to pour it on that day. Dude, that was it. a student. And, and I was, that's how America loves you, bro. Come on. Yeah. Sam Tripley would have no, had a. You know what was? Sam of Trip the dreamers. Sam Tripley would have had a, a more helpful co host. <laughs> you know what it was, though? Look, okay. I think they were too fucking busy. Because that cell. It said 10 max. Tell me if there was 10 of us there. Like 15, 20 of us motherfuckers. Anyways, but the Tiffany had his shit. So you see her getting, when she's getting arrested by the cops, you see the sun coming up. Yeah. So I thought that she had been partying all night long and so decided to drink and drive and they caught her in la madrugada. Nah, was I wrong? I guess this bitch fell asleep at the stoplight. Even worse, bro. You know how drunk you are to fall That's asleep on the road? Before. Not on the stoplight, but... I've gotten in my car before and I just knocked out. Like trying to drive? No, like I knew I was like, I'm gonna just like chill, turn the heater on and just. Oh no, she was driving. But I, I was eventually thinking about driving, but that night, I was like, God saved my life. Yeah. For sure. Cause I'm like, I would have just gone, but I woke up in that parking lot, <laughs> fucking broke the little stick and just drove out. <laughs> and like, not to mention this, you think you should <coughs> lose, you think you should lose roles for things like that? <coughs> Is that like getting canceled? Like, would you, I mean, would we put that up there in the same category? You lose your license. Okay, yeah, okay. But that's nothing for them. She got money. She All right, got look, hers. Like, I'm talking look, like, dog, did you really get punished? Like, I, I, you bring like up, that? you bring up a very good point because bottom line, when you get a DUI, bro, you should be held up to a certain kind of fucking uh, consequences because you're, you're technically getting behind the wheel of a machine that could co consist. I mean, sorry, that can cause any amount of manslaughter. That you want non-stop you can drive into buildings you can make somebody into applesauce you can drive by skid row which nobody would really mind on the sidewalk but i'm just saying like uh you know what i'm saying you could do all those things and cause so much damage and take somebody's lives kill your life ruin somebody else's car so i think that yeah like that should be held not to the same extent where like hey somebody is a chris D'Elia, you know what i mean but like you should have you should have you should face some kind of humiliation or repercussions for it because Hey, bro, that could have been anybody. That could have been my mom going to work because she's working a 9 to 5 trying to pay her bills, going in la madrugada, and then this bitch fucking hits her. Yeah, when my dad got his, he got caught up on a Friday night and oh, didn't get a... He, yeah, 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 that's why I said, oh, never. This Friday's was like 2008. So he got caught up. He didn't get released till Sunday. I yeah. picked him up without a license. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> He had to pay a lot of money to get his shit back, and he couldn't drive for like about a year and a half. It cost ago. it cost yeah, about ten G's it does, it does, yeah. in total. Right, classes, bailing your car out, lawyer your fees, your days off, you your days, days off, off from work, all dog. these things they add up to an average about ten bands. Bro. Yeah, because I was there, they didn't take the car away. Nice. Yeah, so I got we got lucky with that shit. But but yeah, that shit was, and it was his first offense. So, and, so. and like I was saying, like your dad. When you got a DUI, le dolió. <laughs> imagine Ray. Yeah. Dolió. Know, imagine Ray's like, aprendices, papa. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's lecturing his dad. Yeah, like he's just fucking hey, lecturing his te dad. Te dije que no tomaras y bebieras. Hey. He's like, no, pero quería estar con tus amigos, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Like, and it was like a family party or whatever. Yeah. What they called all my uncles. You see, bitch? Yo. <laughs> on another crazy note, did you guys catch that video? What video? Of the chick that got, got caught masturbating at the beach. With the vibrator and the At cop the, showed oh, up. It was a chick. I it thought was it was a, a dude. No, that was a grown a woman. Damn. She's using a vibrator. I guess she's at a public beach. And I guess the kids were hearing it. But like, who's calling the cops? She's got to know how to be a silent. That should be a fucking. You're... She's got to be a silent moaner, though. She's got to learn how to up her game, bro. Like, how is she going to go point. like, ah, 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 just good. fucking start moaning? I was she about to say, tent? good point. Good point. If the kids are there and she's moaning really loud. Like, bitch, you're at chill. the beach, bro. Like, you know, there's going to be kids there. Like, make one of these little tents. You know what I mean? Like these little fucking yeah, little yeah, forts yeah, yeah, and then yeah. just masturbate in there if you really got to go that bad. True. But then the cops show up, right? And they, they, they interrogate Start banging her. her. They start wait, wait, wait. Her. Some people are saying that she committed suicide soon after that video. Whoa. Is this correct? We, this... Yeah. Can, can we get this fat check? Was it somewhere? at Disneyland by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> or Disneyland, dog. It got suicide I know, man. Stop suicide. killing yourself at Disneyland, bro. Knott's Berry Farms is there. It's right down the street. Fucking, yeah, nuts. Knott's Berry Farms is down the street. <laughs> Universal <laughs> Studios has a big parking lot. Stop fucking up Disneyland. I'm thinking of going to Knott's Berry Farm. I was going to go, too. In a couple yeah. of weeks, yeah. Look, big old tree. What is wrong with you guys? Go to Knott's. Yeah. For real. Why not die on Knott's? Or why not... <laughs> 
Hey, how hard is it to do the belt on a roller coaster? Why hasn't anyone committed suicide like that? What do you mean? Like on the roller coaster, just you get like, yourself. like just jump off and shit. Yeah, just unbuckle yourself. All right, so like, on the look, a lot of the, <laughs> <laughs> we need to go to Patreon already. <laughs> Let's go over there. Like, like a lot, of, a lot of these fools that are doing it though, like they doing it from like a, a parking lot, bro. So I think it's like a, it's like a structure thing, like having access to a structure and then like setting like a statement. You know what I mean? Like a Disneyland happiest place on earth. Well, I was on happy type of shit. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like say, it does say, I feel does that's where that's where that do, message yeah. comes from. I'm not speaking for the dead, but I'm just saying, like, if I were to have to have some kind of sick interpretation, it would be like, well, fuck the happiest place on earth. I'm the unhappiest person. Splat. You know what I mean? Like, hey, look at the search I put. Oh well, it'll show up on the screen. Look, I put beach masturbating woman. All I get is Pornhub links and shit. <laughs> it's fucked up. Uh, put Tight. the sunset, or I, th I think that's where that's the. Uh, the article I found in it, but you ever been on xxn.com? It's a pretty good porn site. All those sites are owned by like, like European like companies and shit. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, you gotta think about uh, it. You think it'd be American and shit, right? I wish you would have got into like the porno like managing industry, not managing these whores, but just managing. We were young enough. We were young. I enough. know, but like, I wish like it would have been our time where we would have been like, yo, oh, yeah. let's start a website for these putas, or let's just take their content and just give it for free. And then, like, we would have been making so much money. We would have... I would have been the intern for Fools Gone Wild. What? what Fools Gone... You, you mean Girls Gone Wild? Yeah, I was like... I would have been the intern for... Yeah, Girls you don't want to be the one like, for and, Fools Gone yeah, Wild, definitely bro. Like, not. They got me smoking tweaking shit. Yeah. <laughs> like George shit. No, but I would definitely be, the, like, a crew member for Girls Gone Wild. Yeah, like, when, I mean, you'd probably, Dude, I probably, you'd probably be on the video where it's like... I didn't know they were underage with it. Like, you know, be fuck like, you. <laughs> no, nah, no, fuck no, you. no, hold on. Let me finish. Oh, yeah, let no, me finish. Be like, I thought he was just bringing these girls there. I was just a cameraman. Be like, I was outside. I was sleeping. I know he had a lot of girls, but be like, yeah, not me, though. See, bitch, let me finish, dog. Fuck you. I don't know. No. Let me cook, bitch. All right. Well, talking about fucking. Pedophiles. That's what he got caught up, right? And first of all, he could. He, he, was, he pretty much filmed like 17 year olds that were like almost brand new, almost 18. Like, they, these were bitches that were, had fake IDs, you know what I mean? Like, and technically, not that I'm, like, explaining it Does for this fool. Like, not that Like, not that I'm, like, counting it for this fool, but, like, it was a different time, bro. Bitches were still being, younger yeah. bitches were still dating older fools, and it wasn't a big-ass fucking deal at that point. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Like, now I'd be shocked if there is a high school bitch out there, and, the, like, remember our age when the fucking parents would be cool with, like, si mientras la cuida y le compra cosas está bien. You know what I mean? Like, that, like I'd be shocked if there is a bitch out there or a little bitch out there dating a big ass fucking dude. You know what I mean? That's less o older of age. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, we're we're, talk we're on that topic. Have you heard of uh, Josh Gridney, the NBA basketball player that decided oh, to hook damn. up with that sixteen year old? And there's video where she says, "Just fuck pro NBA," and he won't know, won't comment on it. She okay, is from, she so, is from Nebraska, so I think sixteen's legal or some shit like that. Okay, first state. first of all, first of all, she's. This is like that fool looked kind of weird though, like he looked. Well, he's twenty one, so I think. Okay, like, a, I was like, not old as fuck. I thought he was like, which I'm like, not, I thought he was okay. like forty, but he looked like that. I was like, this fool's like some Drake and Josh type of fucking fool. Nah, bro, it just he's, looks young. You know, he's he, like, he's in the weeds right now. This fool hooked up with some like sixteen year old, and the NBA won't talk about it. They asked him about it, and he's just very un, in the hush. But he's like, but uh, the reason I brought it up. Would you be okay with your daughter being 16 and her dating a NBA professional player that's, not, that's 19? No. He's 19. Fuck he's 19, 18. No. He's just, he's literally, they're not that. He's Your daughter's 16 and he's 19 because they obviously knew. What him. does he look like? <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> bro, he's a good looking dude. <laughs> that's so uh, fucked up. Bro. Like, he's <laughs> <he's> not. <laughs> Like That's who, him. Is he is he He's like from Australia? Like, you know, like these are thoughts that are gonna cross a parent's mind. Is like, is he like the basketball player fool that was waving the guns in front of the fucking uh, oh, yeah, he's not that like he's, if he like or is he like all time winning a fucking like this motherfucker? Got is he good. the basketball player who went out with Jeanette McCurdy? <laughs> you know, fuck yeah. shit out of her and all that shit. Well, I guess it was a year ago. That's what someone said on the in, in the group chat. So it might be old news, but it's just crazy though. And he's getting a whole a lot of heat for it right now. But. I mean, but yeah, bottom line, I don't think I'd be cool with that. Like, of course not. She's this already. Got, this got to show up with a G wagon bro, first day. He's got money. Yeah, he's a for fucking me, pro. <laughs> like, 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 like I'm just, he can't afford it. <laughs> like, I tell you, dude, NBA money is NBA money, money. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. But they go fucking quote this. Be like, so we're watching too much Adam Twenty Two. Nah, they're gonna find. They're gonna be like, all right, you just need to get a fucking G wagon. 
<laughs> for me to date Ezone's daughter. <laughs> you got 18 years. Well, a little more because he hasn't. It's not even in the oven yet. But you, yeah, Cybertruck. You, you heard that shit. <laughs> Ezone wants a G wagon to date his daughter. Cybertruck would be cool. <laughs> Hey, those trucks are finally starting to be on the road. I want to see you one. See bro. one? That's my dream truck, dog. I'm sad I don't have it. I mean, one day I know I'm gonna have it. Like I'm gonna have it. It may not be. But how much you're going for? Like a hundred thousand. One hundred twenty. A hundred. I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm just saying. One day I'm gonna have it. Uh, that's that's the car I would like. Are they bulletproof? All of them? Yeah. That is worth it for a hundred thousand. Because I would want. I you know who I know is gonna have it. Like from B Real's friends, that like for sure is gonna. And I know I'm gonna see it. Dun, 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 dun. X mm. exhibit, dog. Oh, you're right. Hell yeah, dog. That fool. Have you seen his other truck? He has a tra has a tank. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fool, this fool. Those, those, yeah. This fool fucking did the craziest shit, bro. In the LAFC game, dog. This fool fucking drove. There was a big line to come in. He drove in the middle lane while there's LAPD because this is like a, almost like a military vehicle. Cut everybody off. Drove up in there. These fools were just like, oh, this is a military car, so they let this fool in like nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then they were just like, oh shit, it's exhibit. What are you gonna do? Give me a ticket? Like the cops aren't gonna keep up with that cop with that car. That's and, just gonna yeah, yeah. even then you're just gonna give exhibit a ticket. He don't give a fuck. You have a car like that? Do you care? That's what I'm saying. Like tickets like that to people like don't matter. Like tiff, like the DUI to Tiffany Haddish, it's not gonna affect her at all. Other than her having to go to these lame ass classes that she probably at the end of the day, she's just doing stand up at these classes. <laughs> she's like, y'all get a free show, y'all, bro. <laughs> like, bro. Okay. I would literally be working new material, dog, if these fools are all like, you've, hey. never, you've never been to an AA meeting or a DUI class, obviously. That's exactly what it is. You get there, and it's everybody else got a DUI, and it's your first day there. And when it's your first day there, they ask you, hey, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell them how you got a DUI? So right then and there, you can start off with, and they give you time, bro. There's no 10 minutes. You don't got to buy yeah. pizza to get five minutes. It's literally, you go there, and now that I think about it, I would... If I got a second DUI, I'd be doing it for stand up. I wouldn't even be because you can just tell stories. And, and every week they ask you, I was like, the next week, since you already introduced yourself, the next week, I was like, they'll be like, so XG, um, how was battling alcoholism this week? Talk about anything. So you can just do stand up. Be like, well, the other day I did this, and these people are paying attention to you. So if you can get them to laugh, that shit's going to work. Yeah. And they're paying attention because they have nothing else to do, and they paid. To be in this class straight up as a grown adult you know what else would be dope though what it sounds weird but i kind of want to do it because my parents used to do it and i'm like what is that what do you adult got school oh. like adult school i thought about going back like, like just to go i thought about going back to school dog <laughs> i yeah. thought about going back to school not to go for school masters but to learn like trades bro like to learn certain things like like honestly like i want to learn how to make my own mock-ups so i can start working with china and I could be like, hey, this is going to be my summer drop. Like, I want everything because I like working with my local people here and it's great. But I think I want to be at that point where it's like, like, it's, like you should. I mean, it's, I'm not even allowed to you. I've, I've even thought about it. I was just I don't know, it's, you're, you're more in it. I, I would learn how to stitch and sew. Like, like, yeah, like, some, yeah, like stitching and sewing and make real custom, like real custom, like only like it's going to be four or five hundred bucks. But I made it con mis manos. Yeah, this is a patch that you're not going to get anywhere else. And, I, and if you learn how to do it, I think you could find love and. I've like thought, that stitching shit. I've thought about like yeah, cause I've thought about do like taking a lot of. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm about to take this dab too, but I've thought about uh, what is it taking like a lot of a uh, creative like trades, bro? Like you know what I mean? Like like stuff like learning how to sew, maybe ceramic, maybe certain shit. Cause I've always I always have the creative mind. I know I have a very creative mind, bro. Like just see this new drop that I got coming up. These new hats that I got coming up. See, I got inspired by my fucking Crocs. I'll tell you that much. I'm telling you, you should learn. I how got to fucking inspired stuff. by my Crocs, bro. Is it a fuzzy hat? It's not a fuzzy hat, but I'll be tight. Let's just say High and Hungry is gonna have a a Mc, Mc High and Hungry drop. Nice. Because like it, it and it's it's gonna feature the same characters that are featured on the Crocs, but our style it is is fucking badass, dog. Like shout out shout out Chili, put some chili on it. Like every everybody sees Chili and they want to put some chili on it too. <laughs> But, uh, but don't forget where you heard about it first. You know what? We else? don't smoke the same. You know what else I kind of want to learn too? Learn how like uh 3D printing. Somebody say you want to take twerk classes. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking YouTube, they monetize that shit now. You ask for you need you need booty for. for <laughs> I was watching an interview with the guy who has that video out there on how to shave his asshole. 
What the fuck are you? <laughs> what? How do you? What? The fuck? And it's and it's monetized. <laughs> And, it's they monetized? and they interviewed him about that. And this dude literally spreads his asshole. Because it's on educational. YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Because it's educational. Where are his balls? Like, like pulled up a little bit. You can kind of see him, but like, you just see the asshole mostly. It's I, a saw it on, on it. I saw it on the Danny Mullen podcast. He had him Is on it there. Is bleached? Uh, like, I just kind of saw, like, through, <laughs> I kind of saw through the phone, and it was mostly like, it had crema on it, like, oh, to shave. Oh, so bro. You couldn't really, like, tell. Yeah. So if it's educational, so what can I show people how to jerk off? That's educational. You know what you, do, you should you should <laughs> hey you should, hey I'm just saying hey, you yo. should you should do one how to clean your Maybe foreskin I'm porn how to up. clean your foreskin <laughs> how to clean your foreskin be like I usually get a toothbrush usually <laughs> I get a toothbrush sometimes did, a Q-tip and, and, and like a tur- like a turtle sticks his head out you gotta brush the neck <laughs> and then you hey manscape commercial dog and it be like I usually I like to tone my balls with the ball toner two point <laughs> That's funny as shit. Yep. Hey, dude. In the if, pussy pocket. That would have been perfect. I asked for you to do. Dude, I'm not lying. I can maybe. Do that. Damn. Nah, I don't want to fucking. It's educational. Yeah, but my face wouldn't be in it because it's educational. That's right. What? Yeah, it's educational. <laughs> oh, the the gay dude who if I shaved his asshole, his fa- his face like he has other videos, but he like he loves that tension. If right. okay, if I did do it. <laughs> Pubes or no pubes? <laughs> it's educational. It's educational. I don't know. It's educational. I think there has to be pubes because it, it's nature. It's educational. I don't think I have a preference for that when I watch that. No, I'm going for how how YouTube, like how I can argue with YouTube how it's educational. Because if, <coughs> if I shave it, they're going to be like, you're just a porn star. So? <laughs> this is the best thing. You know what? Let's take this moment to fucking show you. I could just easily take my carb cap off like that, bro. You know why? And I don't have to worry about it falling off my puff coat because I have a work carb cap. And because I have a quality carb cap, I don't have to worry about it breaking anymore. Thanks to my good friends at Tough Tough Tethers. You know what I mean? These are custom made tethers that fit the Puffco Peak at any, uh, whether you got the Puffco Peak Pro, the Puffco Regular, or any kind of other, any other kind of Puffco that has a carb cap that you value. You can go ahead and attach one of these tough tethers to your Puffco or your smoking device and prevent it from breaking. Tell them how it holds a dab tool right there. It's supposed to hold a dab tool on it. You see? You see what I mean? And the, well, this yeah, one's a little bit too big. Yeah. Well, the, actually, no. No, you can just the crazy it. thing about it is that let's just say, and this is pretty. This is another cool feature about it is that if you're always tired of your ta- dab tool rolling off, you getting li- everything sticky, getting uh, everything you know. sticky, you literally can put it can put it in between the little spring. Look at that, dog. Take it on and off. Load up your dab, take it off, then fucking put the car cap on there. These things are affordable. They're durable. They do have them for the proxy as well. So everybody out there, they have these little strings, so it holds onto it real tight. So it's holding onto the base, y'all. That's Literally, a big ass dab right tool. Look. And it's a big ass dab tool. If it can hold on to something like this, it can hold on to your regular size dab tools. Literally put it on there, ready to go like this. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just dropped that because I, I moved it. But yeah, you insert it in here and you're ready to go. Go to Tough Tethers. Follow them on Instagram. They're a proud, proud proud sponsor of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Make sure you check them out at toughtethers.com. They got different ones for different sizes, different Puffco Peaks, uh, different Puffco products. They come in handy, bro. I love them. I mean, I, I like I literally sliced a little piece off the one I had, and I fucking put this one off just to customize it. I ordered the one without the little the little uh, the, the little thing that it hangs with. But, uh, yeah, go check them out. Tough Tethers on Instagram. Speaking of trades and going back to school, I've, I've been thinking of like doing a AV certification, like air conditioner. No, no. like audiovisual. Oh, audiovisual. <laughs> yeah, my no, bad. I was, that's, I thought, that's I HVAC. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the fucking transformer one you ride on the fucking, on the fucking transformer ride. <laughs> all right, all right, HVAC. Show them what you got. Yeah. All right, but yeah. So, you, so you're thinking about going for like uh, audio and shit? Just like that audiovisual stuff. You know, people are like. Are the kind of, of shit lights. Dom went school for? I think so, yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. So that's it's not dope. cheap, but it's worth it. Especially if you want to learn like how to me, do that shit. Like for me, well, the one I want to learn, but it's hard. It's just time consuming and it's kind of hard. It's 3D, like 3D printing. Like learn how to like uh or like um making like 3D models. Like how you like, like how it's like if you hit me up asking me to that you want to make the high and hungry character 3D. To or like if hit. I were to tell you to make me a plastic version of that. Yeah, to like make plush dolls. That is pretty fucking dope, and I've been. It's hard though. I tried to look. Yeah, I've been, it, and it's fucking hard. Or like making video game characters. 
3D motion shit, all that. Dude, I, th I looked into the server for like the video game shit. California, like, of course, California's like, no, you can't have fun. You can't do shit. So they have rest restrictions on it because I know a guy who, who like is really into it. He was guiding me through it. It's going to cost us about five racks to have it set up. And then not just that, if we set it up here, anybody can benefit from it without paying for it. Fuck that. I'm like, you're going to slow down my network that I just spent five G's on and got this beautiful idea? Nah. Yeah. Or the or no, but we can still fucking do the live streaming, dude. We should look into that. Oh, yeah. We, we can still do the live streaming. I think oh, the backpack. I, I think we're very fun at like fucking, oh, with the Ustream? Yeah, with the Ustream. I think we're also very fun at like watching play video games, bro, because like it probably would have to be like a Patreon stream or something like that because I, eventually I know I would get banned from these, these things for yelling certain things at the characters. I, I, I'm pretty vulgar when it comes to video games. You get mad, man? Like if you were a kid, it depends, bro. Like, like if I'm playing, if I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, dog, it is a whole different person. You're like, damn, dude. I thank God there's this game because it, people will probably will really think they're like, what kind of thoughts does this fool have in his head? If like his fool, like I do some crazy shit, bro. Like I'll line up like thirty cars, <laughs> like and just perform like the most terroristic fucking shit in fucking Grand Theft Auto, and just watch it from afar, enjoy it, go kick the dead people, like <laughs> like just. Yeah, it, I don't know why. I get a lot of fucking chaos from there. Chaos. I can't wait for the new one. I honestly cannot wait for the new one. Do we have the trailer? Is it is, is it out yet? I don't think there's a. Tra there, I don't think there's any trailer for it. As they said, they were. Oh, they, some they, shit they, got leaked. No, some they they, they released it. Or some shit yeah. got leaked. Yeah, I, I think Rockstar got, released yeah. it. If we could play the trailer, dog, that would be. Think, we'll, we'll, we'll get flagged. Yeah, we'll get flagged, dude. Yeah. Really, even if it's a private stream. Yeah, it'll Man. shut us down. Fucking bitch ass YouTube. Yeah, they're the worst. Can't afford to do that. But yeah. Yeah, that's crazy though. But you gonna get it? The GTA Six? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really into GTA that much because there's just so much to do. It's so time consuming. That's the thing, bro. And like, it, thing <clears throat> I can imagine that it would take like a long ass fucking time to track everything in that whole universe, man. Well, do you feel that like we wasted a lot of time when we were younger, dog? Yeah. Like when I look at it, cause fool, I would I would pass games like GTA, fool. Yeah. Like I would pass those games, and I'm just like, fool, that shit took hours. Yeah. Imagine if I would. Like, imagine like, if I would have just invested my time into something else. Okay, so like like the <clears> last <throat> time I played GTA, I just wanted to get through the story, and if I got well, two stars and they let me pass, I'm cool. But when I was a kid, uh uh, I'm gonna do it again. I, I like I needed to get. You know how there's like five stars, like you got yeah. you, you killed it on the mission or you yeah. didn't kill it on the That's mission. That's what that meant. Yeah, I give you. I mean, when you play GTA, it tells you how good. Like, if you got hit, if you killed an enemy, or you <clears throat> yeah, know, whenever there was a score, I would always kind of, I would always be like, I gotta at least get four stars. Now I just play it. No, I don't have time to go back and do the mission again. Yeah, that's how I play my Switch games. I like, usually like, uh, like the only game that I really be determined to play one hundred percent is Pokemon, where I'm just like, I'll look at the YouTube videos and I'm like, oh, that's where you're supposed to go, or like, that's really the only ones. When it's like shooting games or like Mario games. I'll just be like, well, didn't get all the stars. Fuck it. Let's keep going. Yeah, see, when I was a yeah. kid, I had to get all the stars. Yeah, I had me to too. Try. And you know which one was a fucking mission? To this day, I'm upset <clears> at both of these games, dog. Donkey Kong Country. Fuck that game. Dude, that, that game, game was, was so, so easy. Hard. That game no. was tight. At the end, it was so hard. That game was so cool with the islands and you used to fucking just Diddy Kong. Uh, they need to make that somehow all, all over again. That one. And then, did you get all the stars in Super Mario 64? No one got all the stars. And if you got all the stars, you cheated. Did you get any on that one? Did you Not get down on that one? I remember. I heard Mario Odyssey is hard. <clears throat> is, is that it? the one with Cappy? I have no idea. My brother plays it like, man, that fucking game is hard. That's I'm the like, one with the hat, right? I think so. Yeah, that shit is hard. I have it for uh, for Switch. Like, there's like a lot of levels and shit. Yeah, dude, that shit is fucking hard, bro. There's like some levels where I'm just like, Yahweh. Like, what about 64? Did you get down? How many stars did you the get? One, the did one you where you'll jump into the things? Yeah, the one where you jump into the fucking tunnel. And then that, that shit was tight. And yeah. then I know your dumbass got that baby penguin and threw yeah. it off the fucking. That shit, that was me, dog. Me, <laughs> me. <laughs> Yeah, but he that, just fucking. That, yeah, <laughs> my favorite one. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking tip, man. I am a conspiracy theorist. My favorite one the was the desert. Oh, my favorite one was the, the with the little with fucking the with the stacked the stacked heads. Yeah, I hated those stacked heads. And they used to go in the pyramids with the lava. Don't touch the lava. Oh, uh, dude, I hate those levels too. Man. Uh, no, that shit was dope. Shit. Yeah. I went to the Twin Pines Mall over the weekend. You ever been there? Oh, which is that one? It's in La. Well, it's in the city of industry. It's called La Puente Mall. Is that the one that's closing down? Dude, so it 
when you go in there, there's still shops there, but there's like a lot of shops that like close down and shit. So it's kind of weird. Is it because ghetto ness? Because people's robbing? I don't or know just what it it's is. going down? <laughs> I really don't know what it is. It doesn't look ghetto to me. The people who go there don't look ghetto to me. I think it's a failing mall, bro. Like because I think it's just that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. No, that's happened. In my hometown, I don't know if you, ever, you guys ever heard of the Lake Elson or Outlets? No. There's the Lake Elson Outlets, and they were big. Like, I don't, I don't know. Is that the one by the dinosaur? Nah, that's a C- C- Cabazon. But Lake Elsinore has its own outlets, Nike outlet, Levi's outlet. And when we moved there in like the early 2005 like or six or whatever, bro, that fucking outlets, Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday were packed to the gills. I bet. People would drive out for the outlets before before the fucking internet, dog. Drive out. And la gente iba para eso. And that's how we found out about Lake Elsinore. Keep going, keep going. And my parents, uh, that's how they found out about Lake Elsinore because going to the outlets, being paisas and trying to get cheap shit to take back to Mexico. So my, we bought a house there. Bro, those outlets are gone. There's a there's a whole Nike building. It's and it ha- gone? It's not gone. Like, they didn't demolish it, but there's not one store open. Damn. It's sad. Place? No, it's on the way to Where we stopped by from the in and out I think you were with me. No. Damn. I want to... I gotta go there one day. It's and yeah, it's kind of it'd be cool to film because it's like an empty mall. Like now that I think about it, it might be something cool to film because that, it's, the place I went to is kind of like that. Like man, that'd be kind of cool to just cause like the mall that they you, have an AMC, they have a bowling alley, and they got that little card shop that I took a picture of. Is the bowling alley still open? Yeah. Oh, we should go bowling. Hell yeah, that shit was rocking. Hey, it's we like, um, I think that's the mall from Back to the Future. Yeah. Twin yeah. Pines. Yeah, remember when you used to go to the go mall there. to kick it? You used to go to the mall to kick it? I used to go to the mall to kick it hard, dog, and do nothing at the fucking mall. And just be just harassed. Ball just grabbing? Keep... Yeah, grabbing ass, seeing who was at the mall on Friday. You didn't grab ass. Dude. Yeah, I did, fool. Come on, You grabbing bro. ass, really? No, not random ass. Like, right. I was sort of trying to holler at chicks. All right. I got lucky sometimes. Yeah, there were some cuties there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. At the mall, hanging, and then sometimes I go with parents. That was the worst. <laughs> when the parents are there? Here? Yeah, I was like, why is your dad here? He drove me here, Yeah, you don't get dropped off? Yeah, you're supposed to drop you off and go. Drop you off? (laughs) That would just drop me off all day, dog. I'm going to say, a la plaza. ¿A qué hora quieres ir? Te llevo ahorita. Quiero estar cojo. ¿A las ocho? ¿Nueve? Okay. (laughs) And I would just fucking kick at the mall, go to the the movies, go to the bowling alley. Yeah, that's the one thing on the weekends. I don't like going to bowling, bro. Like, especially like in the the cosmic bowling, because that's where the youth is at. Yeah, yeah, that's where like the motherfucking rowdy youth, like, like, like the the young fools who don't care about the consequences, the ones that you want to just like fucking, uh, who's that cowboy the, from from all the western movies, John Wayne? Yeah, the ones that you want to John Wayne throw him through a fucking glass door type of shit, yeah. like like youth hangs out at bowling alleys th- after. And I see now because I've got I've become friends with a couple of like uh, a couple of avid bowlers and a couple of league bowlers and like. I asked them, like, you know, I'm like, when's the best time? And it's just like, yeah, you don't want to come on the weekends. It's like birthday parties and fucking rowdy ass kids. He was like, fuck that. He's like, best days, weekdays. He was like, there's certain private. Is there bowl- an adult bowling? There's private bowling alleys when you're a league. I'm becoming a league bowler now. I'm for sure signing up for a league because I want to go to these private bowling alleys where I can like rent it out for like 50 bucks and get my practice on by myself at this private bowling alley. Like, and I just, I mean, I already and go. It's crazy how everything has a niche. Everything has like, yo, once you're in the game or once you're in, in in the community, it gets tight. Like there's poker tournaments like that. Like poker, if you play poker and they know you, you get invited to these games where like now it's real shit. Like, like, just like you said, like now it's real games. Like now I get to practice. No kids really focused. Like, like player has, shit, yeah. like, like a whole building. Like, you know how batting cages and you are your own. Like, yeah, like that where it's like, hey, bro, like check in in this building. And like, hey, what's up? Like, I'm, I'm from this league. All right, for sure. Cool. You're running it out. Here you go. 50 bucks. All right, here you go. Because they, 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 I mean, technically, not that you guys keep it open, but you guys are the ones that help come in money on the weekdays. Homie. Yeah. And, and fools eat. You know, fools be eating, dog. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, just like the fools that bowl are usually bowl, are usually shaped like the bowling ball, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I'm just telling, I'm telling you, you right a, now. You should do a pop up at, you shouldn't meet like a bowling when, alley like, guy. Like, like I'm a like, pretty fit guy for all the compared to the other bowlers there. So I'm just like, it makes me feel good about you, myself. You should do it's this. It's like one. when I see Duno next to me. You should do this one <laughs> and give me credit for it. You should, you should find a uh, owner of a bowling alley, tell him to let you rent out the whole bowling alley. Let us, we don't smoke the same high and hungry, and then have food outside. I don't know. That's a lot of business. <laughs> they don't make a, on a on a on a week on a Thursday. We're gonna all go bowl, and then we can have food outside. 
there's this one bowling alley I've been talking to like that, bro. So I'm just I, I've been I've been trying to get I've been with trying to get in there because they never have any food. Well, I've been trying. Look, I've been trying to get in there like into this whole fucking scene, like. Kind of like uh, you know, I'm Charlie Sheening it like he did in that biker movie. <laughs> like yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like this is a great movie by the way. It's cheesy, but it's great. But uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to like infiltrate it where it's like I'm trying to get to know which one of these foods is kind of cool yeah. where it's independently owned. Where it's like, hey, you know what? Like this is kind of what I do. I could bring you a celebrity up in here. It's not a bolero yet. Yeah, it's not a bolero yet. Like you know, like straight. Out, I I already know my. I already know what would be my move. I'd be like, all right, I got I got I got this locked down. First person I'm calling for celebrity appearance, Steph Toe. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, like, cause he loves bowling. Yeah. So I would, and he, and then I remember last time they they made him, they, like, they didn't make him, but they asked him to sign a pin. Yeah, I think him being Bobo signed a pin. Yeah, that was tight. And Lucky Strikes. One day I hope they ask me to sign a pin. Xavier, they're like, that's what? high and hungry right there, dude. Rob G. <laughs> Rob G says the outlets in Elsinore are still open. They might, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, there might be a couple stores open, but it's not what it used to be. I, I, last time I went, it was dead, like sad dead. It makes me sad because that was my hometown, and I'm like, bro, we used to have the Nike outlet. I used to come here on those days where I just needed a pair of sneakers. Used to, uh, Dad, llama los outlets. ¿Qué quieres? I was like, oh, I need you this. been to Citadel? Huh? You been to Citadel? Yeah, I've been to that. Those are. It's dead. crazy over there. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It was just like that, dude. But Everybody's obviously, dying. yeah. But that was cool. All my. All my family used to just love to come to my hometown because, like, you guys have the outlets, and these paisas would come in, get Levi's, for, and they, you know, paisas love that fucking. Well, they crazy. St- that's crazy how they come and just shopping. They come to shop. My my family used to come to shop. Paisas love to, name brands, bro. They used to come with no more. They used to come with no no luggage, and they would leave with luggage. They would even buy the maletas luggage. here. Yeah, they would buy the luggage at, at Ross. And donde agarramos maletas baratas? At Ross, and we go. To that's Ross. why on a weekend on Sundays you'll always see a bunch of Mexicans. Or Latinos at fucking Ross always buying maletas. Like, straight up. Especially by the airport. Like, the Ross by the airport, there's like three. Yeah, and like, I've been to one of those because there's a Japanese market I like going to around there. Yeah, there's just, it's, it's right next to a Ross. It's a Japanese-owned market that I really like going to buy meat at. And, um, like, right, like right there, it's, um like, they, I've, I've noticed that when, I, when I've gone into that Ross, because, fool, I, honestly, man, like, I've gotten into the habit of throwing away socks. Like I like I, I like I literally go like this and I'm like see through throw them away, yeah. see through throw them away. So like I like I, I'm living in like a basketball player just because I had an overabundance of socks. So yeah, I'm just if it tears easily, throw it away. I just don't like to have it. So I just I, I go into Ross and I go buy like some quality socks and I look for some Hoka shoes because I I be selling those on Mercari, and um, yeah, dude, like it's 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 I noticed that on the weekends it's always a bunch of paisas buying luggage, bro. Yeah. And they're buying a lot of clothes. And for the crazy thing about it, dog, like especially because I'm a reseller, shout out to everybody on Whatnot too. I'll be on Whatnot tonight. I'm back on Whatnot like I was before. So make sure you fucking follow me. I got dollar startups. Gee, a cool shit for a dollar, bro. Who else fucking gives you shit for a dollar, bro? Just go to the Whatnot and follow me at Flavors by Ezone. But yeah, like me as a, as a reseller, dog, I go, I go to the Swami and I fucking see this shit, dog. Like I, already, I don't even go to the Swami to look for clothes unless I know it's something that Bices can't afford. Like, when I know that they'll be like, you know, we have pagar 40 por esta chaqueta. Like, they're like, trying to get, like, $10 shit and under. I know the game, dog. They're trying to get, like, $10 or, like, $5 shit so they can go back to Mexico and sell it to other people. Did you see, right? You know how right now you just said, uh... Al Tianguis. Al Tianguis, yeah. <laughs> Fucking name. What man. is that? Tianguis. It means, uh, the Swami. Yeah, it means Swami. In Spanish. Like, super paisa, al Tianguis. They say tianguis. that shit, like, in Mexico, Mexico. Tianguis? Tianguis, yeah. That's yeah, the name of... Swami, yeah. yeah. That, is that the famous Swami? In, in, no, uh, no, I think it's just generic. It's saying Swami. It's just, it's it's the just word another word of saying Swami. In There's some yeah. Swamis that I saw in Mexico, dog, that are badass, dog, that I kind of wanted to go. I was like, but I was like, it's Mexico. So I was like, nah. Yeah. What, what, what up? So I was in, do you know how you said that Danger. you, you Danger. felt like a basketball player? You said, you know how you said you felt like a basketball player when you threw out the socks? Yeah. Kind of reminded me of like, you guys remember when Usher was huge, when Yak came out? Usher? Yeah, Usher. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That yeah. song with yeah, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, when that song came out, this fool was like the shit at the moment. I guess this motherfucker would only wear Air Force Ones one time and donate the rest. One time would rock it one time and donate the rest. I don't know if obviously he can't. I don't think he's doing that anymore. But during that time, and he Still talked could about if he it. Wants to, and I said, I was like, you know how much of a piece of shit you have to be to only rock Air Force Ones one time, dog. You know, I mean, at least, at least five, dog. At least rock. Bad Joe five. did that too. That's like, crazy. Bad Joe and then Nelly, 
Remember with that, give me two oh, per. Pairs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. When I saw that video, that 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 somebody stomping them my Air Force One, oh, yeah. I was like, I had never seen that many colors of Air Force Ones, and I was like, For real. I was stoked, dog. I remember I got a pair that was like, I still remember this pair. It was some high top Air Force Ones that were like dark gray and navy blue dog and i was and i wore them shits to the fucking t because i like them shoes i wish i still had them dog dude like I, i'll get a new pair if you, i like you know what's crazy are bro? you listening to melissa <laughs> <laughs> no you know what's crazy though that they never got sponsored by nike how many shoes does this motherfucker sell for nike nike not once i guarantee you said yo here's 100 free pairs I'm pretty sure he bought all of them. Maybe a discount, but I'm sure they weren't free. You got to think about, like, Nike don't give I don't know, fuck. bro, because, like, B-Real B- B- talks about, like... I might be wrong. I might that, be like, wrong. When man. he tells me this, dog, when he, t- when he flexed this on me, it boiled my blood. <laughs> <laughs> like, like because, like, all the stuff that I was like, so you had boxes of this in your garage? He's like, yeah, I just had to give it away. Like, I, like in my head, dog, like, my eye twitched a little bit. Like, like I was boxes like... Boxes of what? Air Force One? They were sponsored by Adidas, fool. They would send these fools track suits, shoes, hats, fucking t-shirts, everything, but with Cypress Hill logo on it. Oh, he know. Like, oh. badass shit. So that's out there? Like, yeah, somebody, like, he has some of these gear here for, like, honestly, bro, like, I, I wish I could have, I, like, I'm going to tell him, I'll be like, hey, B-Roll, you never held on to none of your fat clothes? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to be like, you think I could have one of your fat guy shirts or something like that? Like, you, you know, he, I, I'm like, he, we all know he used to be bigger. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but this is, I'm, I'm just saying like, why? Like I would like, fool, I know I dress fly. If I would ever lose like some Ozempic weight, I'm keeping all my clothes, dog. We having a high no, hungry fat not. guy oh, custom I sale. To, uh, you're, but, but you're not going to give, you're not going to like throw it away. Nah, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't keep it assuming you're going to get fat again. I would, the Pendletons I would keep in case I would ever get emergency fat again. You get them tailored though. Those are worth getting tailored. That is true, yeah. but I would I would just buy a, a whole new set and then I'll be like, you know. What do you think about uh, start gifting him to like fat homies, <laughs> like how George does? <laughs> yeah, he does fucking give some away. George gives some badass. Shout out yeah. to you, George Perez stories for uh, this jacket right here. Give me this badass fucking Nike jacket. I'm gonna put my logo on it, and uh, and shout out to him for giving me the sample record to uh, to his album he has coming out. Fucking hilarious shit. I wish I could share it with you guys, but he specifically told me. Me and Khan. No one's to, doing this yeah. right now. No one's yeah. done this He in a said while. not to share it to nobody, but not to share it with nobody. But I really fucks with the rock song that he did. I was very impressed. I didn't know that George could get down like that. But that shit was fucking sick. Congrats on being with Fluffy on the tour and shit. Hey, talking about fucking big ass motherfucking names. So what did he? That fool was going through it, dog. He had Casey in a fucking in a. Did you hey, see she that? Said, she said that that fool fucking like that she ra- that that she was raped like took turns with him and like another homie. I'm like, oh, yeah. That, I didn't really go into it. Yeah, but, fool. I was oh. I was like, what the fuck? She said that she got like that like ran a train on her. That's that's dirty. She's fine too. She was fine back in the day, Cassidy. And I'm just like. That's a man, fool. K- Casey. Casey or K- what is Ka- uh, Casey? Cassie. Cassidy know. is a rapper, dude. Is don't... It? I don't know, fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that, that fool's he's he's fucking going through some shit. Like, but I didn't know he was that much of a creep. So so so. We're on street. You think he had him you think he had him uh you think he had Biggie killed? I think some shit's coming out and I think some shit's really gonna come out because he you you saw that he he uh he stepped down from being a CEO Revolt? From, his, from Revolt. That means some shit's going down. and that, That's some Epstein saying. move. Yup, Epstein shit when shit's going down. But you know what I think? Do you remember when they were saying he was gay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause theory, I, I, is, theory is that he, that was just a cover-up because he was not gay and he had fucking sh- allegations of rape and fucking harassing females, obviously. So he was oh, so just he was like, like on a rape spree? Yeah, so then he just said, oh, let these fools believe I'm gay and they won't think I'm raping chicks because gay guys don't do that. You get that? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Because that's the theory someone told me. They're like, dude. And I sat there and I was like, bro, that's it's not my theory. But I'm just like, bro. Because remember when we all thought he was gay? And at one yeah. point, like, this was like three months ago when everybody was like, yo, dude, he's gay. He I seen the video. He used to suck up Usher. He used to suck up Justin Bieber. I seen the video of like him on his knees in front of that DJ booth. That shit was fucking like sus as fuck. Super sus. Dog. And then um, 
Yeah, dude. And, and then him with his pants off. You saw that video too with his yeah. pants, with his pants on his uh, on at his ankles. And some serpent son said, "Yeah, he had Pac and Biggie killed. Do you think that he had both of them killed? Because you don't think it, you don't think at some point." All right, fool. You don't think that fucking Biggie was like, yo, did he? Like, they just killed Pac. You ain't got shit to do with this? Because he died after Pac. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you don't think that, like, Biggie? Because Biggie was cool with Pac. They were beefing Not each other. Not really, dog. What yeah, fool. They were cool, you dog. Me, you want me to play a hit him up for you? No, they were cool right until that point. Oh, yeah, of Because Tupac yeah, 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 thought yeah, yeah. that the first time he survived getting shot, it, Biggie had set him up, and that's where that beef started up. But, like, the reality, dog, you don't think that after Tupac died or he got killed, you don't think that Biggie went up to fucking Diddy and was like, you ain't got nothing to do with this puff? You know what I mean? Like, like I'm trying to do my fucking best fucking Biggie shit. It's like, you ain't got nothing to do with this puff? <laughs> like, yeah, like, you don't think he went up to him and he was just, like, like just fucking, uh, like, just questioning him? And then Puff was like, I got to kill this nigga, too. You know what I mean? Like, because I, th I feel like Biggie wouldn't. He, they might have been beefing, but I don't think he wanted to kill him, bro. Like, I think it was like Biggie was a lyricist. Yeah, I don't know why. He, he knew was. this was some rap shit. Like, this was a sport. This was a sport. You know what I mean? Like, when you're gonna be dissing each other in raps, like, yeah, but uh, you, you, you. I just young. don't see Biggie wanting to kill this fool. Like, well, go that far. Okay, so you were young during that time. Obviously, they were dead. But when you, when they were like, maybe you, Tupac died in '93. Yeah. So I was, I wasn't even, I was barely born. Or, but you didn't see the beef. But that fucking weed fucking swallow. <laughs> so you kind of didn't really see the beef. You just heard about the beef. But I honestly thought when 50 Cent and the game were beefing it, I thought someone was gonna die. I, I was the like, only reason I thought it was a gonna matter be of time so someone shoots someone. Dog. <laughs> only reason I thought it was gonna be is because game is heavily into the game. Yeah, shit. 300 bars when he when he released 300 bars and he started calling uh what's her name a trans. Olivia, Olivia, trans, and he's like, and he's using the SpongeBob voices. You sound like SpongeBob. The 300 bars. I sat there and I was like, bro, there's gonna be this Tupac Biggie part two, and nothing happened. Yeah, because it's it's too nothing much money should. to be made. That's yeah, why. That's agree. why. Yeah. That's why I don't. That's why I feel that that shit. This was had to put a hit on them. You think Tupac and Biggie both wanted to stop living that life? Biggie was a fucking superstar. He like, I mean, but I feel like Pac. Pac was more of a he, he more he had more of a political agenda with him and like sp more outspoken. Biggie was like, I'm fucking little Kim. I'm fucking fucking bad bitches. I'm the man. He was out there fucking the rock star, bro. Like like for I ain't gonna lie. Fool, yeah, for fat fool, I, I like Biggie's it. persona more than Pac's. Where like it, he embodies the, the the fruits that came with it. Like that song, Sky's the Limit. Like you could tell that where his mind was at. He this was, was like, this was happy about having an uh, yeah. Uh, like if you listen to the yeah. lyrics. He's not really balling. That, like, that's not balling what he talks about. It's just it's normal balling shit. when you didn't have it. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Like, he was humble. That's, yeah. what he, that's what I was agreeing with you. I was like, if you listen to that song, it's not really balling. It's like, he's just like, bro, I just, I got something. Yeah, and... and I, I'm not, I don't, I, I, Tupac's cool to me, but it's all sad music. But all I'm saying is, uh, all I'm saying is that, yeah, like, I think that those fools might have got, like, might have got killed. Like, I think they might have been, like, uh... Set up. A set up because they had to eliminate both these fools, dog. I don't think these fools wanted to kill each other, dog. I mean, they were like what best friends, right? They were like re they were like homies, homies. It was, it, that game when the rap game was at where, where it was at, bro. There was a lot of respect to it, yeah. bro. Like it was a lot of art yeah, and lyricists, like right. to the shit. Like it was like, oh damn, he dissed you. How you gonna come back, uh, G? I mean, you know Tupac's I mean? Like, situation was different because it was more about like him fucking around with certain gangs and shit. Yeah, I mean, fucking and you know what happened with that? And no, 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 but but uh. And fucking Kim. Did he fuck Kim, right? Obviously. No, he did not fuck uh, uh, little Kim. He fucked uh, Biggie's wife at oh, that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, whoever that was. Yeah. Um, Who we've had in this building. Faith. Faith Evans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have had in this building. Met her. Okay, well, okay. Well, we're talking about, obviously, Tupac and Biggie didn't want to kill each other, right? Is that yeah. what we're saying? Okay. But they do have homies. They do have friends that want to do things to make that fool happy. Like, I don't somebody, know if you've seen the video. Somebody was like, hey, blood. Yeah, like, I don't know if you've seen that recent <laughs> video. I don't know if you've seen the recent, recent video. I don't know who the rapper is, but this rapper was getting approached by one of his fans. And oh, his yeah, Nardo, Nardo Wick. No, yeah, his, yeah, and the security knocks his fool out. That shit was shady, dog. Bro, like, it was sad. That kid, that kid went to the hospital. Like, he has, a, he has brain damage. Yeah, brain damage. Like, it's 
bad. Like, it's not a good situation. And that's what I mean. How do you know? Maybe, like you're saying, Tupac and Biggie didn't want to do it. But there's always that one homie that wants to prove a point that he's the homie. Like, they wants to take it that far. Yeah, and this this kid now in the hospital, the artist is like... Like, if Eddie were to kill somebody because they did, they, they did something to fucking George. <laughs> Exactly. That shit, yeah. I can see that something like that going down. He took your sack, George. <laughs> <laughs> Killed it. I heard. He, I heard it had fentanyl. <laughs> so I snapped his neck. Yeah, but uh, but like I said, like if you've seen that video, that could be a crazy video. Like that that security knocks out that fan. Trying. You don't know if that security maybe really did see a threat. Well, you know who I didn't know was gangster as fuck dog. Where like a lot of people didn't like they were scared of this fool. That like it came into a shock. Remember fucking can't touch this MC Hammer dog. Oh, he's a bit yeah. He Ooh, that around. motherfucker was fear dog. Like, bro, this like like this fool was like with the shits, bro. This motherfucker makes Suge Knight apologize to him. Listen to the song. Can't touch this. Like like mm -hmm. yeah, bro. Like, you but better I, not touch it. Sounds like. <laughs> but I'm like, <laughs> you get your ass kicked if you can't. Bro, if you like touch it. <laughs> this motherfucker, like this motherfucker, like had like it, it pretty much dog like. If somebody talks shit about MC Hammer and made fun of this fool dancing or like, like I think, or <laughs> like, like his pants and shit. Yeah, or his pants or like fucking like, uh, like, uh, cause he, he was a, he was a hustler dog. He started off, like, I, I looked into his story. He started out working for the Oakland A's. He was dancing, he like, for real dog. Like, he, that's where he got his, like, start. But, um, what's his name? Uh, I think one of the first people that dissed him was Redman. He said something about his mom or some shit. And like, this fool fucking wrote, like, Redman didn't say this in an interview, but he said that, he, he went to the Bay, because this was from the Bay, and he had a concert, and he said that security let these fools in and all this shit, cleared everything out, and he, it was MC Hammer and all, all these fucking thugs. They fucking they walked up to this fool, and that fool told him, he was like, look, man, just because I know that you're young and you have a lot of potential and I like what you're doing, I'm going to just tell you this once. It's like, don't talk about my mom in a fucking record. He was like, otherwise, we're going to have a problem. And dude, and he, he was like, so I, he's like, so he's like, I expect, I'm, he's like, I expect an apology and I'm going to leave. And Red Man apologized to this fool, dog. Like fucking was like, hey, bro, I'm sorry. Like, I, mean, I think Ice Cube. That's a good way to. Ice Cube uh, had, was another one that's, that this fuck, that this, this fool. So pulled up in the bay with a bunch of fucking homies. And I was like, what's up? You, was, you, you said I, I dance funny? Like, what's good? Like, <laughs> yeah, dog. Like, he was fucking crazy, dog. Like, this motherfucker was a thug. I mean, Hammer had them shooters, bro. Like, like, yeah, for real. Like, he was like, <laughs> fools knew better than to fucking fuck with this fool, dog. After, cause words, word got around really quick. They were like, he's not gonna come look for you, but you're gonna get booked eventually in San Francisco. And if you didn't get booked, he would tell the club to book you, dog. That's funny. You know, you know, like that's I crazy shit, bro. Like, you know how gangster you gotta be to be like, book this motherfucker in this club. And just like, you know what I mean? We'll pay him what he wants, but I need to talk to him. That's some gangster ass shit, bro. I feel like that. Uh, you know who I feel like that about right now? Like you can't fuck with? It's 50 Cent. Dog, if 50 Cent goes at you, your career, it's over. Yeah, I feel I feel that way. It's over, bro. Like, I don't like know why. Like fools that, fools, that, fools that felt threatened by him, they just had they just learned they're like, I have to give up. Yeah. Ja Rule took the L. All those fools taking the L's. Because 50 Cent won. Even the game's like, just, yeah, it's still G-Unit. The game will fight everybody but him. Oh, yeah. The game, if dude, if there was a reunion, you could see the game back with fucking making an appearance at a G-Unit concert. That'd be dope, though. Nah, this will still occasionally throws little jabs at that fool. He's like, yeah, by the way, fuck 50. <laughs> Do you see that? He's like that bitter baby mama. You know what I mean? That just, like, will always be like, you ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like... I guess I feel like that's who he, that's like the game to like the whole G unit thing. Cause all the other fools were just like, you got more songs for us, 50? Do you follow <laughs> the game on, do you follow the game on Instagram? Nah, I don't really try. Uh, like I big celebrities, I don't really big follow because I, Instagram will fucking highlight them over everybody that I really want to see. Well, I don't really follow him, but I started following because someone reposted him and this fool posted some, uh, Palestine shit. Pro Palestine, like murder, like kids, like kids hurt. And I, I was like, man, for someone that big to say, fuck it, I don't care, I'm going to get shadow banned, and you can see his views go down instantly. And I just <laughs> sat there, and I was like, damn, that's he's like rather that fool. Because a lot of these fools aren't doing it. Like, yeah. yeah I, they're not like, posting shit. I'm surprised he's neutral, and I'm, he stood his ground. He's like, nah, that's not cool. Who, 50? Oh, the, uh, the game. Oh, the game? Yeah, the game. That's why I was like. El ah, juego. Shit. Yeah, el juego. That was, that's a weird. That's a weird. I wonder how they say it in Spanish. El Mira, juego. this is el juego? The game? 
G Unit reunion ain't never gonna happen. Nah. You know what shoes I've been on the look lookout for? The Daddy Yankee G Unit shoes. Like you I had, had a, I had a, I had a pair of those. Yeah, if I could get a pair of those you brand new. Find those on on StockX. Let's see. Stock. How much you think they're going for if they are there? I, I don't know. Let me see. G Unit. All I hear in my head is if I put those on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the intro that to the song. Gasoline. Let me see. Like if I were to put those shoes on, I were to hear like a compilation of all his songs. Lo que paso, pa. That fool's. Hey, Donka, not for nothing. Daddy Yankee's the shit, dog. That fool's fucking like. Give, give him a round of applause, Ray. Like, shout out, shout out to you, fucking Daddy Yankee. Fucking the real, fucking the real leader. This a handle. Fucking from the OG, dog. Like, if, like he is an OG, dog, because he 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 paved the way for a lot of those fools. A lot of people don't give that. They'll give him those credit. A lot of people stop mentioning names like Don Omar. They forget about Hector y Tito. They forget about Zion. Well, Zion and Lennox is still relevant. I was like, uh, they forget about, um, <clears throat> what is it? They forget about people that went to jail in the middle of it. Looney Tunes! Yeah, they forget about Looney Tunes in Noriega. They literally forget about all these motherfucking artists, bro. But they forget about, Z Z what is it? Uh, we see Neon Dead. Those was had a, they dominated the radio for a fuck, for 15 years, bro. In Spanish radio, there wasn't a fucking song that these fools were not playing him. The game started changing, though. The reggaeton game started changing when, like, fools... Like, I, I was a fan of these fools. Rakimi Ken Y, when those fools started oh, coming. Oh, dog, down? Yeah. Dog, you know how many... Oh, you know, me siento down. down. I went through so many breakups with that it, song. Down, man. I was oh, down. It, it, down, down, down. 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 Down, down, the video's pretty. The video's so lame too, bro. These little pretty boys, and like they're definitely like in a hotel because it's definitely not their house. Yeah. Down, me yeah. siento down. Yeah, it's all fools are all sad. Down. <laughs> Remember the fools? The fools. It was like, oye ma, dime pa, que te llevo el tiburón. Llegaron los tiburones. Remember Alexis Filo dog? Those were hard. Oh, yeah. That what? A lot of these fools fucking they just died out. Like they, they made their money and they and they they fucking they just they were done. Yeah, I mean, what else you gonna do? You gotta keep going. Yeah. I don't that wave. Like, I, I mean, dude. To, to Somebody me, said nobody gives props to it, General. Yeah, he was one of like the forefathers, but like, but he's not I don't. Like reggaeton, reggaeton. Yeah, like it, that was like the transition of it, and yeah, it would be like. It would kind of be like it would be like somebody who's like be like somebody's gotta give props to Curtis Blow like yeah like I get it bro like because you know that style of rapping you know who that fool is yeah I know who he is right, yeah. yeah like you know like for for rap like people people gotta be like oh it was very basic but that was the transition thing yeah. so yeah he does count as a forefather you know what I mean for like how the st how how people really is but that's really more he just yeah, really had he really had more of, more of the effect on the way the dembo changed. Cause it went from just being like regular to like having different kinds of them bows. You know what I mean? Remember the fucking that fool was a player though. He used to. He's like, oye mami, tienes unas caderas. Pareces carretera. Y costó manejando. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I remember that intro. <laughs> no Bro, they don't have any. This, they don't have any. That shit was hard, dog. No me trates de engañar. Dog, oh, that shit. Yeah, and then, and then he was a sick tu Teresa otra, and of course, typical player otra. Yeah, the dog that shit was hard, dog. I remember listening to that shit a lot, dog. You remember buying those? Are those it? They're two hundred bucks. They're eleven. Yeah. They're size eleven too. They fit you too, dog. <clears throat> Damn. I think they're pre-owned though. They're not new. That's the only bad part. I found them, but I did buy them though. You ever bought pre-owned shoes? I do it to swap me. Yeah, I've had, I've had pretty much. But like I have like, a nice pair of boots. But from like eBay or whatnot. No. Nah. I have sometimes, but I regret it. Why? Like they fit too small. There wasn't anything wrong with the shoe. Like um No return. I bought the, I bought these uh I I bought these shoes at the Swami, these boots, these Nike boots, they're like from nineteen ninety six. I had to get them fixed. Like uh I had like I I had I would take them to a shoe shop and I was like, Hey, put the glue in the bottom so they don't fuck up. And these these boots are badass. I always get compliments on them. Because they're brown, they're suede. They have the whole fucking get down. It's badass. <clears throat> Somebody said that fool was dark <clears throat> and dressed as a general. Hey, yeah. is the phone is the phone charged? 
I can turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn it on. Let's see what the voicemails are like. It's been a while. Every time I hear that, I just hear that little. It's been a while. <laughs> you never listened. You never went through your fucking rocker phase. Yeah, full Lincoln Park. Bowling but you would listen to K Rock. Yeah, Bowling for Soup. Um, That's gay. Fuck you! No, it's not. Full Bowling for Soup was dope. Uh, Good Charlotte. What, song, what song was it? Something uh, for mom. Oh, is that that's that. I don't think that's Bowling for Soup. Not well. That whoever sang Stacy's mom too. Good Charlotte. That's um, Fountains of Wayne. Yeah, Fountains Huba of Wayne. Stang. Huba Stang. Dee, 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 they, they were dee, dope. Dee, 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 yeah. dee. Uh, I'm not Yellow a card? perfect person. <laughs> Imagine uh, the doctors play that every time. Every time a handicapped person is born. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Yellow card, yellow card was cool. That that uh, yellow avenue or whatever that is. They had that was the badass thing about them. I remember seeing them before they came up with the yeah, with the violin. There's there's a place on Ocean Ave. I know all those songs. I was I listened for that was the era when I was like stuck on fucking music, dog. Like just downloading a library like, every day. Fuck I yeah, dog. Fuck about uh, viruses. I don't give a fuck if you could hack my computer. Straight up, dog. I oh, remember I was just waiting for the cops to knock on my wall and say, "You downloaded this much shit. You guys are getting <laughs> deported." <laughs> and I just had no fucks. I was like, "Who cares? I got fucking Lil Wayne out on my MP3 player right now." As long as I can take that, I can take that with me to Mexico. What, uh, what else did go. I listen to? Remember that band, uh, Maroon Five, dog. Yeah. I love Maroon I like, Five. I, like, I, like, I like Maroon yeah, Five. Maroon Five was dope. You remember that that song? Until the day I die. And it was like this hardcore rock song. I don't know. I I, I remember that shit. Oh, uh, I know which one you're talking New about. Newfound Glory. Yeah. I think yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Uh, I that remember was... bands like Silverstein. I can make it yeah. on my own. Oh, I can't oh. make it. Oh, my. That, new, that, that newfound glory, it's yeah. uh, downhill from here. My friend. Oh, what about that dress like a chicken? I think is that the one that dress like a chicken? I don't know, man. What about my what, friend, what, about, what about the what about this? Hawthorne Heights on a two gold silver bullet going <laughs> through my heart. <laughs> yeah, dog. Or what about it? Ohio's for lovers? That was my shit, dog. <laughs> How did that shit go? Fuck, I man. Can't make it on my own. I don't think I, I used to fucking I, I used to know how to fucking do that shit like did, that voice. Okay. So I liked all that shit, but you know what I didn't like? I didn't like like and I like it now, but I didn't like Metallica, Slipknot. It was too much. I got for into me. those when I was older. Like I got into those when I was older. Some of them I could get into and some of them I didn't. Like the old school bands, like I like I like Twisted Sister, bro. <laughs> like like I like Al, uh Alice with Alice Alice Cooper with the snake, right? Yeah, like but I'm not too big on listening to Zeppelin's music. Like, if I have to be, like, honest, like, that just didn't resonate. I'm I'm big on The Doors. Like, you, you'll you catch me here listening to, like, a whole hour of The Doors, dog. <laughs> just, I'm, like, weird with the different one. But I think it's went, we went different, bro. Like, well, let me see other other bands. People are saying, remember Alien Ant Farm? You've been hit by. Dun, dun. You've been struck by. Dun. A smooth criminal. <laughs> I really thought I was, like, yo, I remember when I was little, I was, like, do they have a head form? <laughs> like, for, like I, I was like, why are they called that? Somebody said, fuck Primus. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like Primus. They're cool. It's an acquired Creed? taste. Creed? Creed's cool. Creed, yeah, Creed. I mean, For a new it, it was it was a it was a fucking era, bro. Like that's it. That you had to be there. Like like the Vince McMahon meme. He's like, Dad, tell me about Creed. Yeah, but like Hey, <laughs> hey man, when you see him stumble. Hey, dude, like honestly, crazy. bro, hey, when Vince McMahon dies, I'm I'm gonna shed a tear. Yeah. That man brought a lot of joy to my life. Yeah, dude. And that fool send the That fool, nothing has ever inspired me to hit somebody with inanimate objects than fucking WWF, dog. For real. And, like, he, and, he's, <laughs> and he don't give a fuck. He made some good scripts. Is he the one who makes the scripts? In the beginning, he did. Yeah, then, yeah. then I got He's heavily it involved in that yeah. storyline shit. He foresees every storyline that happens. Like, he'll literally be like, no. Like, okay. <laughs> like, I, I, I know people are there, obviously, because they know, they know it's not real, right? And these people know it's not real. They're there for the story. Yeah, but are the stories even that good anymore? Like back then, it was funny. I, it was I watched racist. Raw. I watched Raw's War the other day, and it was kind of cool. But what are they arguing about? Like, oh, you didn't post me on TikTok. You didn't tag me. Not like they'll show. Like, they'll, they, they will show about? shit like that. They'll be like, "Well, I was busy this weekend thinking about how I'm gonna kick your ass this morning on Raw." 
And then he was like, and I ran into some of your friends this weekend. Roll the tape. And then instead of like the fucking video cap, it's like a, t- it's like a, it's a story or something like that. And it's just, yeah, it's just, it's different. It's just updated food. Like this well, was different era. Do you know what I was thinking about? But you know what's coming back? Hell in a Cell, dog. Because uh, CM Punk came back to WWE. Oh, yeah, That's that. why I saw it. The, hey, food, it got real, dog. One of these fools. Hey, you're starting to sound like those people that watch this shit. Yo, it <laughs> no. got real, dog. It's real, dog. You see a fool jumped off, dog. No, you ever jump off the It went against the dog? script, dog. The fucking cops had to get involved, dog. They what up, for real? Yeah, because this one Okay, fool, that's also okay now. <laughs> Dude, even even Ray's like you so thought those were real cops. Those aren't real cops. Dog. Those I mean, are I'm sure Vince, they're real. Those are Vince McMahon cops. Like they're like, let's act like, like this shit. Didn't they arrest down. Stone Cold one time? Yeah, dude, they're not doing that shit. Off the ring. Yeah, are you, oh, yeah, you're gonna arrest them. Yeah, yeah well, no, okay, look, look the score chart of this. So, well, this fool went against the script apparently because this fool had like like CM Punk and this fool had real beef because this fool really. I do like, believe people would have like, heard that. And, and, off and the then like yeah, like they went off the script and then they had to like detain this fool because this fool was mad. He was like. Like fuck CM Punk, I'm not trying to work in the same place with that fucking asshole or some shit. Like, I don't know. It was serious, supposedly. Or they, or they got me. Who knows, dude? It's all fucking. I've been got so many times, dog. Hey, remember when um, Vince McMahon and Trish Stratus made out in front of his wife and she was in the wheelchair? Oh, dude, that's the best. That, that was shit was fucking crazy. That shit was crazy, savage, though. bro. Savage, savage. You, you and they, Let's people find wonder that why we act like that. People wonder why we are who we are. Or when that Ooh, old lady got yeah. um. She got like power bomb through the table or Le- some shit. Oh, a May Young. Yeah, May Young. They three D her fool. Oh, three D. Yeah. yeah, they three D her. Okay, okay, but you know how that you was said, a tight ass wrestling move. You know how you say times have changed, obviously, and like obviously even in wrestling. You know what I was thinking about the other day. Like, if you si te vas a conversar con un padre, what type of confessions is the padre getting? Like, oh, I slid into someone's DM, so I cheated on my husband. Like what? Or like, cause we're in new times. Like what? fucking type of confessions is the priest hearing like uh my wife wanted to have sex with me but i didn't so i want to go jerk off instead on pornhub like like what are you telling the priest <laughs> and what the, and how and how many hail marys do you have to how many hail marys do you have to do for these new fucking confessions you're have you ever confessed I, I never told them everything you never confessed i never told them everything i kept my secrets yeah, that's why you're gonna go to hell. You're supposed to tell him everything. He's on. He's not, bro. I, he's fine. You don't care, dog. What do you? He cares that you stole some Pokemon cards in fifth grade. He talks, <laughs> he's almost like he's gonna get me arrested. He talks to God, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you know. You don't know. He might care. Oh look. Oh shit. Look at that, bro. Trish Stratus was hot, bro. Oh yeah, she still is. Look at this video, my meow, dog. He looked like he was into it. Look, though. Oh, yeah, bro. What are you talking oh, about? Yeah, that was real. yeah, dude. I'm into yeah. it. I'm into it right now. <laughs> hey, she owns the company. Six feet apart, bro. She owns the company, though. Linda McMahon oh, yeah? owns the company. And she has it. She's a COO. Okay, so. Yo, isn't she like. She's in She's in Trump's cabinet, right? Or some shit like that? She was, oh, dude. Like, whoa. yeah. She, Business lady. She don't give dude, a that's fuck. what she's I'm telling you, dog. Money. That fool was the best president we had, dog. Thus far. Thus far. The 45th? The 45th, dog. I'll give it up to Big Orange, dog. Next time, dude, next time I go to Vegas, I want to stay in the Trump Hotel. I'm surprised you don't call him Sun Kiss. It's actually not that bad. I heard this nice, though. Bro, I'm even going to stay at the, at, the Trump, at the Trump Hotel in Vegas. Want to know why? Because they for sure ain't going to be immigration there. They ain't going <laughs> to assume that illegal going to stay at the Trump fucking tower, so... <laughs> the last one's getting deported is going to be me, if anything. <laughs> they ain't going to believe it. Like, he's at the Trump Tower. No way. Fool. Hey, somebody said, uh, the LMT said, I remember confessing to the padre. I was like, damn, little badass kid. He had to talk, take a moment to <laughs> think about what to say. How many Hail Marys you make you do, dog? Cuanto para nuestros? Who and then me? Santa Santa Maria. Who and then me, when they'll tell me that, like they'll be like, all right, like five Padre nuestros, two Hail Marys, I'll be like, Two padres nuestros. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to fucking, you're trying to bark it with the no, fucking. No, like, like in my head, I'm in. Head. Yeah. Oh, I thought you are. I thought you were like, yo. No, like dude. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm just like, be like this for like the next 30 seconds and then I'm like, leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're supposed to do it right in front of him. No, yeah, you're supposed you're, to. You're, like, you're, right, like, right you're, yeah. you're supposed to get on your knees and you're supposed to do it like right then Facing and there. Facing Jesus. And you sat there instead of doing it, you just sat quiet. I was just thinking about it. I was like, man, <laughs> I remember there was times at church, fool. There was times at church, I was like, man, I wonder what's on TV right now. <laughs> like, like, I feel bad because, like, 
I have a good. That shit's boring. I don't blame you, dog. That boring. Yeah, but it's like I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying this in any way to like mock God or anything. Like because I I I respect God. I have a great relationship with God. But it's 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 just like you're just a kid. You just don't know much. Like like you're just stupid. You don't you don't really value God the way you value Him as an adult. But you, you, you know you know you were a bad kid. At least I knew when you were a bad kid because even my dad would knew, and they would tell me you were a bad kid when they let you take your Game Boy to church. Yeah, bucket the guys. Bucket the, yes, they knew that it was that, or we gotta go, because you were that annoying ass fucking kid bothering everybody. And then my dad, my dad didn't like going to church, so I just hated it. No but dad likes going yeah, to church. At one point, my mom was trying to get you think, us. To go to church. You think you think any man likes to see a woman worship another man? True, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but. Dude, my dad is the worst. We go to church, bro, and my dad never took shit serious. So we go to church, and it's we're there quiet, and like Sabina, my dad would look at you and he'd make funny faces to get you to laugh. So you get, in, get trouble. in trouble. Yeah, bro, and you're like looking at him. I'm like, dude, like stop. And he was like, yeah, so we can go. Get in trouble so we can go, but I'm not the one that's supposed to want to go. He's like, I'm still trying to hit it. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> trying to get late tonight, dude. It's Domingo. I, that's how I, I for sure get Yo it on Domingo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't Tommy say that he? That's what he called it, right? When he saved that fat ass uh, black lady. Oh yeah, yeah, because he quiere dar la gloria. No, he, he was like, I didn't, didn't ask him for money, dick, because ya me gané la gloria. Like, you know, just like, bro, like I told the lady, chill, dude, chill, dude. Hey, we should call that lady. Hey, he's capping. Okay, have you noticed on, sto on on? You've heard the story multiple times. On one of them, d does he not say he swam with her? He he said he. Like Tom, he swam with them. Tommy like he said swam, like the first story I heard. Yeah, it's Captain. Tommy jumped off his boat. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> he jumped, swam like some kind of hero. It was like, dude, dude, yeah, dude, dude, fucking pick this lady yeah. up, like superhero. And, and, like, yeah, was and, like, then and then swam. It back. was like they. He said they threw something, and then that kind of helped them like get her to the boat, and then other people were helping her out. But <laughs> and then and George's he didn't say that. He said that she was already by the boat, and he just lifted her onto the boat. She was probably by, I mean, it's probably the same shit. Like, you could be by the boat, but, like, you're not able to swim anymore. I don't know. Like, food, fuck the water, dog. I don't, I don't got voicemails. I just checked. I'm oh, not, we don't have, damn, nobody's, do we have a phone number? What's the phone number? I forgot it, dog. Poster right now. I'm not going to believe it till I, till, I, till I hear that lady call him. She says she calls him every year. He's got to record the voicemail. I've heard it. You've heard it? I've heard one. What did she sound like? What did she say? She was hey. like, I, no, she, it, hey, was, it was a real black lady. She was like, Hi, Tommy. She was like, she literally, she was like, I'm just calling. He's like, I call you every year. Thank you for saving my life. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Like, real, yeah, like real? for real, dog. I heard it. Like, I remember all I was right, like, play right. it for me, dog. And I only heard it once, though. I don't know if she calls him every year, though. How funny would it be if, uh, how funny would it be if, <laughs> if Tommy just paid some black lady to say that shit to make one of his stories credible? <laughs> he's like, he's like, do it in the Aunt Jemima voice. Yeah, please. I'll pay the extra fee. You want some pancakes? <laughs> you want some pancakes? <laughs> yeah, the syrup is bomb. It's not even syrup though. I like I like the real maple syrup better. Well, you know, processed yeah. syrup. It's still bomb. Yeah. yeah, the real maple's good. I like it. Very water based and shit. He's gonna barely had his first his first jar of peanut butter and he didn't know that shit split. Oh, like real peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah, I bought it at the farmer's market. I remember you came back. She's like, bro, that thing splits. No. What do you mean it split? Oh, like the oil, the oil goes is, on top yeah, of shit? Yeah, you, you gotta... Use, if you don't use it for a while, you gotta... You gotta get the... It. There's a no-stir version. I don't know if it's any better, but it's still the same shit. No, I just literally, like, I put it in the microwave, and then I fucking stir it up. Oh, all right. That's cool. Yeah, I like I like the no-stir. Yeah. Stir's fine, too. Yeah. Hey, fool, so I bought these fucking super-sized pails, right? For fucking... Uh, RSO? Oh, for your RSO. Were you tired of taking 10? Xavier thought it was like fucking oh, Bluetooth or something. I was something talking shit. like Molly or something. I was like, the fuck you taking? Yeah, those are fat. Damn, that shit. How even from here, that? I can see that it's potent. How much is in that? I don't know. Is that two or three? A lot. It's like probably two. It's like probably four or two. Four? Of, four of the little candy oh, blaze you, ones. You give that to sand, someone and you could fuck them up like you did at the fucking LMC <laughs> game. <laughs> oh, those guys won, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's talk about that. No, can right. you talk about the story Those like, fucking like you did this right. fucking? Did, did All right. You, so and then this is, this like is the I one did? I gave the homie. This is the one that B roll has. So like now this is I'm like, this I brought the bigger pill and I was like I'm your papi. Yeah. So like this pill is the king now. So tell him what you. So get. now I'm gonna give one of these to B roll. Be like, hey, your turn. <laughs> 
So I'd be like, come on, the story though. I haven't even really heard the story. You just, I just saw a video of this All right, guy. So, <laughs> All right, so at the LAFC game, one of the, like one of these games before they went into playoffs, I, I usually shout out to the Forty Two Originals. That's the crew. I'll shout out to all the buds. You know, I usually bring beers and like, you know, I bring a few extra beers and I'll bring like this little canister of RSOs and I'll take like three or four and I'll go to the game. And I'll drink my whiskey and I'll enjoy a good time. It's like bring a few extra ones. And I know some of these fools are real smokers. Like there's one fool who sets up a rig every time and starts giving out dabs and he dabs too. Gave him one. He's able to handle it. I gave the homie Jason one. That fool handled it like a champ. And then I gave the homie Turbo one. I didn't know that the homie Turbo had been there since the morning. I didn't know that he had also taken mushrooms. I didn't know that he had been drinking since the morning. Uh, that's on him? Yeah, that's on him. He's Of course, see, there's no backlash. He didn't hit me up. He didn't, like, tell me, this is your fault. You know what I mean? Like, he, he like I, I checked in, and I was like, he's like, thank you. You know what I mean? But, like, and I helped him to his car. You know what I mean? With the other homie, we carried him to his car, but... So I gave him the RSO, the SHO pill at the beginning of the game. And we're like, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I constantly keep checking up on him because, like, I see I have the, I have these fools from a distance. Number one, because I'm like, in case one of these fools faints, I don't want these fools dropping my name. I got to act like Disneyland. So I got to get involved and get them out of here and take care of these fools. You know what I mean? I don't want to get in trouble because somebody got dosed. You know what I'm I mean? Them so strong. If anything, so these are the 42s. <laughs> I know, but damn, because I'm taking one and they slap. Like I, I can't imagine. I don't think yeah. you'd be like one of the new ones. That shit would kill you. Or better you, you would, you would get yeah. the sweats. Like I think you would. You, te, te, te pasarías and you'd be like, I don't quiero estar así, like, like, yeah. It's been a while since I said. Yeah, that. like you would be uncomfortable like that. So I gave him one of those, and the first half, this was like with the flag, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, this was having a good time, right? Oh, and so you're I, watching it like yeah, like I'm like oh yeah, look. I, I, I'll tell down. my I tell my girls like look, babe, they're they're enjoying it, you know like <laughs> <laughs> like like you think they want another one? Like, if you're like waiting, you're walking, like, shit. you're like give me a second, I'm gonna go give them another one. Like and I and then she's like, are you starting to feel yours? I was like, yeah, you know, I'm starting to feel mine, you know, and I'm just drinking. And I was like, second half goes over. I was like, oh, all the buds, they go get food or they go do whatever they got to do. Sure enough, fool, I noticed this fool doesn't come back. <laughs> like, le pegó el aire. like they say that paisa shit, le pegó el aire. like uh I, this fool this one doesn't come back and i'm just like what the fuck i was like what happened to this fool and then i go up there during the other break and i'm just like hey fool like jason where's turbo at you took it and you feel it he's like yeah fool, i'm fucking high right now and I, and I was just like he's like but he's like i smoke a lot so i'm this is cool for me and i was like what about and then the other fool comes up he's like hey fool you killed turbo <laughs> <laughs> and i was just like what and then he's like, and he's like, yeah, you killed Turbo. And then he's like, he's outside with the palm tree where they all meet at. And, and fool, like, his girlfriend is holding him like like the fucking Aztec fucking is holding the fucking the, the girl in the fucking calendar, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like this, fool, just holding Turbo like this. like. And then she's like, what the fuck did you guys give him? I was like, I give him an edible. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And then he was just like, well, how strong was it? Because he can't even, like, he's not responding, fool. He's like. Like he's like, and I'm just like, hey, Turbo, wake up, fool! Like, like, come on, fool! It's like just, hospital style, like, if yeah. You were, like if you were like that, would you want me to take you to the hospital, or would you be like, yeah, I'm fine, leave me alone, just blacked out, blacked out type of shit. Like, but at the same time, I'm like, hey, fool, can you hear me? Like, you know, I'm, and then he's like, yeah, like you can just hear a little fucking like a little faint voice, he's like, yeah, and I'm just like, hey, fool, are you? Do you need medical help? Cause I was like, if like, I was like, cause if you do, I'll, t I'll take you to the doctor myself. Get your stomach pump. He's like, no. Like, and I was just like, are you good? He's like, yes. And then I was just like, all right. I was like, he's just really high then. And his girlfriend, he's like, no, he's not just really high. And then I was like, yeah, he's really high. Trust me, he's gonna come back to life. Like I was like, give him some water and put him in the car. I hope you get him in the car. So that's you know, after for a while, like, and and, uh, and when we we were carrying him to the car. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking tell the, I tell the homie who's on the RSO too. I was like, hey, fool, isn't it crazy? The two fools who took all the pills are carrying him to the car. And then the fool in the middle, Turbo, he's like, yeah, right. And I was like, fool, you're fine, huh? So he fucking just throw him in the car. And then you see that? He didn't wake up to like one, though. You know what the funny said? He's no longer Turbo. He's Slowpoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But that shit was fucking crazy, though, man. Shout out to the homie. Yeah, when you come ask me for an RSO or SHO, be ready. Be ready, bro. Be, ready. be ready, bro. Like, and I expect you to not 
come on some pussy shit because I'm not on some pussy shit. So you know what I mean? You buy a kit if you want the regular the regular pills. You know what I mean? But like the ones I carry around for myself, like hey fool, I'm I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to trying to uh, have like a good amount of tranquilizer on me. You know what I'm saying? By the way, we are taking phone calls. If anybody wants to come tell us a crazy story or, uh, you know what I'm saying, or whatever you want, if you're coming to the fucking uh, toy drive. By the way, thank you, everybody. Please register for the toy drive. I know a lot of you guys are coming, but please, it helps me show the fucking venue that, hey, man, we got people coming through in here, so please register. Go to highandhungrytoydrive.eventbrite.com. We got we got Axiom Barbecue, one of the food vendors. We got a churro vendor. We got, uh, what is it, some Awas Frescas vendors. We got A-plus products. We got FleaCon. Uh, what is it? We got my booth. We got Chili's having a booth. Are you going to sell some stuff, Xavier? The bags. The yep. bags, fool. Ashe, bags. Ashe is having a booth as well anybody wants to go ahead and uh buy some fucking santeria stuff cleanse your stuff by your cleanse your stuff by the weekend i'm gonna have dab waxington up in there in case you guys want some of those terps enough glass come on bro and there's still more to be announced so there's a lot of fucking vendors that are, will be there come get a new glass piece come support i will have some of my pro pens go get a fucking uh a, a gift bag if you want they're gonna have the the sign funkos as well and a pro pen in there as well so do not fucking sleep. Go get those tickets for free. They're free. All you got to do is register, bro. Believe me, I want to be able to do this every other month with different vendors. And for those other, for those motherfuckers, they keep telling me, oh, look, this was not cool with boards because you ruined the steak or this and that. It has nothing to do with that. The whole intention of doing the High and Hungry pop-up is to rotate the different vendors and give everybody a chance to shine so they can go ahead and introduce yeah, and their you don't food gotta to different drive people. Out. You don't got to drive out to their certain locations. They're all in one spot brought to you. In Huntington Beach, where you can hang out, smoke weed, drink some beer. That's like that. Literally, the point. Yeah, and also we will be having. We were going to be kicking off the fucking the new year. I'm sorry, we're going to be kicking off the new year. Yeah, at January, we're going to be doing a We Don't Smoke the Same podcast live. So come start the new year off right with us. Because and yes, this is a venue you can smoke. This is a venue where we will have vendors. I will be vending everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, we will be having flour. We'll be having, uh, what is it? We will be having some terps there as well. And there's not going to be that many vendors at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm only going to have one wax vendor. I'm only going to have one flour vendor. I'm only going to have one edible vendor. I'm only going to have the, that way. That person does great. And I'm going to rotate it every time. Of course, they're going to pay for the spot. Don't get me wrong. Shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Uh, straight up go get that go get that go register for the high and hungry toy drive and yes um everybody uh it is the end of the month so if you haven't received your uh your, some i did send out I, some of you guys i did send it out already for the beginning of november i took that shit in the beginning but if you didn't get one for november hit me up uh if you haven't received your monthly gift hit me up i am working on those as well so uh definitely got some we don't smoke the same stuff uh being sent out for you guys for the for the tears and stuff like that and the december one i will be having i try to do the gift exchange this year with you guys bro but honestly i just can't add something to my plate right now uh where it's just gonna take more time away from like everything i got going on so i want to do the gift exchange but i'm probably gonna have to save that shit next year so i know it's the first year we don't do it so uh, i'm sorry that we're not gonna do the gift exchange i just I, I just I just can't put it on my plate right now, man. Like I just I got a lot going on in my life, uh, my personal life and and business life. So, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's what. What are you, what are you gonna do for the holidays, Xavier? Chill. I mean, you gonna buy Bam? This might be the. Like, I mean, if I go to Vegas, this will be the third year I go to Vegas for Christmas. What do you do in Vegas? What do you mean what I do in Vegas? Oh, fucking hell yeah! It's yeah. Uh, it's dope. I just go. Cause I mean, my, fool, my, you know, my shit's fucking. My dad's got to do his thing. My mom's doing his thing. My sister's doing their thing. So one year I was. So like, you went last year. Who'd you go with? Huh? Go by myself. Just get a dope ass hotel by myself. You went with some bitch last year. No, by my, I, I end up meeting a bitch over there all the time after they go. You gonna take sand to the beach this time? But there's no sand at that beach during Christmas, dog. So I do have to take some sand. Eventually. Yeah, all the, all like, the, like, the, all like the the sands, but but the Christmas tree. Like the last two years I've done it, I, I end up in Vegas and then the the female celebrates Christmas with their family and then they fly out the next day. Because mm. I don't want to go hang out with their family. No offense, I don't know them like that. I'm not like their boyfriend. Like so, I've been invited to like. So what you're saying Christmas. is you go out there and get some hookers. Not hookers. <laughs> 
and have I'm a, calling and, my fans hookers <laughs> and have a and have a blast. <laughs> So that's what you're gonna do? Uh, um, yeah, I think I might do that shit. I asked around. My dad's gonna be in TJ. My mom's. I don't know. What the, she's gonna be with the, doing family stuff. Yeah, I'm not trying to go to my fucking, fucking. What is it? My mom's boyfriend's house. Yeah. No. You gonna take take Will with you? No. No. To my mom. To my to where? To Vegas. Vegas. It's not a bad idea, actually. He likes money. It's being spent. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a bad idea, actually. It's cool because I give him a good memory. And, and this year, so usually when I like when I go to Vegas, usually obviously I go to party, and I go to the clubs and shit. But during Christmas this year, this year I think I want to go do like go watch the Circus Soleil, like some shit that like it kind of sucks. What? Don't it, already it, ruin. Dude, it's really? not. It's not what you think it is. Did you do a high? Did you do? Some I've drugs? I've seen like four of them already, dude. and they're not. And, and like what they're what? cool. I'm but so I, like, what about that like, bug so one? So should I go no, to see the magic? fuck the bug one with the fucking Lizzo fat ass bug. So fuck should, that one, dog. So then what? Should I go see like um, David Copperfield? Yeah. That's way better? Yeah. You think that's way fuck better than yeah. watching Circus Or Olay? go watch the food pen and... Uh, Penn and Teller. Penn and Teller? Yeah, the real. Okay, yeah, I'm down with... I want to do something that... Like, you know, I don't want to... Not that I don't want a club, but it's pretty... It's, it's, it's Vegas. Everyone's there with their family and shit on, on, during Christmas. But I do want to go see some Penn and Teller. You guys, yeah? yeah? How care top, Mike? See care top. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited for you. Yeah, I might take Will with me. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, make him pay for everything. <laughs> that's you know that's what he's you gonna know, do. You, you know he's gonna tell me if we can get the pet deposit. The way he's gonna take his cat? No, he's gonna like, fucking take a piss and his shit right before we leave oh. the fucking hotel. Who takes care of his cat? Huh? He does. There's not much take in the dude. That cat is a trooper. That fool was in the hospital for like a week, and that cat lived on its own. That oh, that well, yeah. Cat, if it's you don't need a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just leaves the fucking food for days. Does he have like a, yeah? Does it, does he have like a? He has to clean the litter box though. Yeah, no, someone does that. He doesn't oh. do anything. No offense to him, but not, not much of a doer. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like like he does shit, but like cleaning and shit, he's got a maid. He's got he he's got maid. He's got a person that does their clothes, folds his clothes. Like, you, like, man, that was a fold and fluff service. Yes, bro, he got I mean, it going on, bro. Like sometimes I'm like, man, fuck. But you, he's dude. sick, huh? But he's sick. Nah, he's fine. He's 100 percent fine. Will is not 100 percent fine. <laughs> yes, he is. But yeah, that's a, hey. So is the, is the fucking is that shit open? Like, because can people call? Hey. It's there, or maybe is do we have to open that app since it's been a while? No, dude, it's the it's it's working. It's good to go. See, oh, there we go. I ate shrooms and saw carrot top. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Carrot top. And also excited because you remember is he the comedy? Movie? It's prop never, comedy. It has to be. It's prop, prop comedy, comedy. Yeah. See, but like, like we remember watching the movie, um, penis knocked up, and they go see Cirque du Soleil on shrooms. Yeah. That's what I made me want to kind of do. They it. start talking about the relationship. Yeah. The yeah. Okay. Industry. See, but you fail to realize that that was still a part of the shroom trip. Yeah. That fucking show triggered shit for both of them. Yeah. And that made it a bad trip for them. And that that's exactly the recipe that happened with me. Okay. I was like, fuck this show. I was like, this shit is creepy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I was just like, yeah. It just did not. Uh. It did not. Uh. Did not sit well with. Oh, me. I might go see the. What's the sphere? Chippendales? Did you hear that? Spheres? Fuck you. And you read that. <laughs> you didn't think about that. Fucking shout out to whoever said Thunder from down funny. under. <laughs> no, but uh, you hear that they're trying to like make you can't stand still in Vegas no more? What? What do you mean? Okay, so people have been standing still to take pictures of the fear of the sphere and watching the sphere. Uh -huh. So now they're trying to give you tickets for standing still. Look the shit up. Next to the sphere or like all over Vegas? Like wherever, like the, you know how when you go to Vegas and you're crossing from one from bridge from what yeah the bridges can't stand and take pictures of it or there's gonna have to be secure you there you gotta move right there vamos. let's go vamos. they're trying to pass it's not but i'm like bro what about the work? people who who are there like playing a guitar and shit not no more Damn. i gotta go what about on the street like on, you know on the sidewalk and shit dude I, don't, I know. I think you. I think I don't think they can do it on the street because yeah the streets the streets straight public but i think those are considered those part of the bridges? hotel yeah. i think that's part of the hotel so they can't have security there 
But hey, it's like full old, gran time. old granddad has a piece of advice for you. He said, "Sing or frogs at Treasure Island is a great place to meet drunk chicks." Oh, been there, done that. You're right. It's fifty bucks, all you can drink, and it's fucking lit, bro. Hell yeah, I've done it. One time, someone caught me on uh, the DJ. The DJ there. Every time he DJs, he just puts his phone in front to go to watch the fans. And then someone hit me up, be like, "Bro, are you that fucking Senor Frogs right now?" <laughs> and I'm grinding with some chick. I'm like, "The." Fuck, dude, so it's full, like burning me out. Damn, you get burned everywhere. Dog. I get burned out everywhere, bro. I can't do shit anymore. Damn, fool. Yeah, you, you can't. Cards, you're dude. not a cheater. Yeah, I get caught. People yeah. look at me like they they want to record me. I look like you think I look like a cheater. You think if you see me out the, out chilling, you're like that fool's a cheater. Let me let me post them. I feel like you'll cheat if you have to. Yeah, fool, if I have to, if my life's in danger. What do you mean? Are Nobody, you gonna, you're no cheat because your life is in danger. Dude, stupid. I'm sure someone's life is in no, danger. No and they girl had puts a, a gun to your head and is like, eat my pussy. That sounds like a porno storyline right there. I owe my I owe money, so you know I gotta fuck up. Yeah, dude, like it's a great porno. But I'm sure <laughs> so, I'm sure someone has cheated because their life was in danger. I don't know the scenario. I'm thinking my brain's working right now. She just started sucking my dick. I couldn't <laughs> say no. Oh, here, here's a scenario. Here's right. a scenario. All right, what's up? And then remember, this was fake. Do you remember when those, 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 uh, those black people got caught trying to with the cartel? What about them? What if the cartel? What if the cartel makes you fuck? Oh, the cartel remember wanted them to, to get bone each fuck? other. Remember, they were trying to get them to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're married? Your life's in danger. Your life is in danger. They told you. But they wanted them fuck. to fuck each other, like the like yeah. the brother and sister. Yeah. What type if they're shit? married? That's still cheating just because that's your brother. Don't mean you're not cheating on your wife. They didn't do it, though. That's why they killed one of them. Oh, did they? Yeah. One of them didn't make it back. So his life was in danger, and he said... And they were just like, we're not doing that. And they were like, fuck don't you. Pass. Yeah, don't want yeah. yeah. I mean... Damn. Because you, you, they get bored. The cartel, they're not maniacos. Oh, they're they're like, a ver, queremos ver esto. You remember when Gerard, Bur Gerard Butler killed, dude, killed that... Uh, kicked that black dude in that 300 hole? Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit was fucked up, huh? The dude. pit. Dude, remember when that that that? I'm just a messenger, sir. Remember Don't when, give a fuck. Remember when? <laughs> kick that fool. Remember when Irvin got? <laughs> remember the first time Irvin got laid in that movie? Huh? Remember when Irvin? The first time Irvin got laid in that movie? <laughs> you're you're <laughs> yeah, stupid. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a warrior. I wanted to be a warrior. Remember when he just tried to lift the fucking shield? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Such an asshole for laughing. I mean, what's the point, though? <laughs> hey, fool, oh, back, back in those times, day. like, if you were born retarded, they'd kill you, huh? They'd throw you off the cliff. No, no bullshit. Throw you off the cliff. Why, why are we going to deal with this shit? Why? Dick. We don't have that many resources, bro. Like, we don't have... You got, you, we have to throw you in the bath, and we, you're in rotation for the bath. Now that's dirty. You don't even know how to wipe your ass. You're retarded. How do you think, <laughs> how do you think these fools fucking knew? They're just like... I guess they knew. They're just like, this is retarded. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, you think they fucking knew they're just it's like fucked up if they if they, if they have a military and they're like a turn on. It's, it's fucked it. up if they throw them like at age five. I mean, a, like that's what you I'm also, saying. You also, they probably have to check them from at birth. They're like you defected, got, smash. You also got to think about it. If you become retarded, hey, we've been on Patreon, right? Yeah, All right, cool. yeah. And I you, mean, I've been on Twitch, right? Yeah. And uh, you, uh, you can also become retarded by hitting your head. They probably killed you too. Yeah, I think that happened. If you hit your head and you're kind of retarded, and they're looking at it like, yo, that fool's got to go. You think that's why fools didn't like age old at that point, like, like or or have to get hit old age? They were just like they had cardiac arrest or they died. Like life expectancy well, was short. No, no, no. So it is short. It is short. But you want to know why it's like really <laughs> short though? Was because if you broke your leg, you died. And that's part of that's considered a death. Speaking of broken legs and heads and being retarded and shit, I've been. In my explore feed, a lot of those, um, you know, car takeovers where people are in the fucking way and then the car, you know, fucking just hits them and shit. Yeah. yeah. You ever oh. see how, like, how fucked up they get once they get hit? How, like, yeah. they turn all, like, paralyzed and retarded oh, yeah. at that given moment? And you're like, why, dude? And, and it's sad. I Honestly, saw one where one, one fool's foot got ran over. You saw the inside of his foot. Yep. That shit was nasty. I was like, Ugh. I'm like, dude, like, what uh, are you doing? And hey, all did, young have fools. you ever seen a nice hey, did like you, that? Did you see? Did you see that shit neat, dude? Bro, yeah, fool did a fucking a takedown. Yeah, remember the fool with the mariachi fool, the neat Martinez fool that he came yeah, over here? Yeah, he did that shit right there on the fucking by like the, in the middle of the whole shit on the by the Regal fucking theater, like you know, right there in that freeway. He had like he, there was a car in the middle. He got on top of it. 
and they stopped the freeway and they fucking did like that shit for a freeway for a music video and then like they spray painted that fool's logo right there on behind of the fucking on the on on that on that fucking uh sign on behind the sign so you see it all right and i'm just like, like all right first of all i'm like i get it it's, it's going viral that's what he wanted. That's what he's going to get. But are there serious consequences to these things? Yes. Doesn't seem like there is, dog. There isn't. How many people do I know went in for PPP loans? Nothing's happened to them. People be doing takedowns. People be robbing shit. I never hear anybody getting in trouble for anything. Not that I want to do it. I wanted to walk into a store I mean, and just steal shit, a jacket like, one day. Some of the shit is <laughs> private. Like, you, know, you don't know. You know. True that. I know a couple of people who have to pay back their PPP loans and all that shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I won't say who, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want, yeah, you don't have to burn them out. But like, I haven't heard one person. And I don't know people that fucking have money. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just when he said, you figured out who it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because this person really thought that this shit was not gonna have to be paid back. Well, not that guy. <laughs> but if you don't have, if you don't have the money to pay pay it back, like if you're, but the thing is, the people that I know did it don't have money. So even when they get hit with pay it back, yeah, me lo gaste. That's how you fuck up the economy. That's how the fucking greatest Japanese economy fell apart. Yeah, like these rich people are getting hit with PPP loans because the government's like, oh, you can pay for the life, for the fine we're going to give you. For the homies that did it, they're like, bro, if we even give it to you, are you going to pay us anything? You think Cairo took out PPP loans? He seems like a PPP kind of guy. I mean, if you know how to invest your money with 10 grand or so, I mean, you sure, I'm sure you can pay. Like, that. if I didn't have my business, I would have started it during that shit. Like, for sure. I would have, like, taken out 10 bands and I would have done something. I, I thought, I, I, like, my tax guy told me, he was like, bro, he was like, you could have got, like, 40 G's, like, your business aid. He's like, he's like, what the fuck? He's like, and that's like, and I'm like, I got so hurt when he told me that. I was like, bro, I could have used that 40 G's. But I was like qualified for four. Yeah, because I have a registered LLC. That's right. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, it's, so now I call that for every week. I'm like, you got it for me. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Money, 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 yeah. money, money, money. Like, it's, I mean, there's money out there, but it's just like a lot of people that just know about it happen to be white people. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's really the, the information's out there, dog. It's like, you know, like the one thing that really like I got to give it up to the Chinese immigrants, bro. Like they're, they're or not Chinese immigrants, just Asian immigrants and like and just like like uh, Indian immigrants and like some of those Greek fools that own a lot of the dry cleaners, the liquor stores and shit like that. Because <clears throat> like like to to be honest, dog, like when, when you look at this shit, bro, these fools are not afraid to take the risk, dog. Like uh, when you see a liquor store open up. That's 10 or 5 Asians money into that pit, bro. They got the Tia's money. They got Theo's money. They got the brother-in-law and all this shit. They got five people in it, and they fucking go for it. And they take turns running this shit, and they're like, all right, that 10K I put in, I get 20K back, and I'm out. You know what I mean? And then the original person to do it. But, like, it's hard. It's like, I, I wish that you saw that more with Rasa, and it is starting to fucking change. But it's like, I remember you you, you pitched somebody, like, an idea like that, like you know what I mean? Like, like for real. And I'm like, what Leos, bitch? Money? Don't can, like, que, fucking, que, te, te tienes miedo a hacer dinero, güey? Tengo que agarrar un permiso. Tengo que ir a la ciudad. Fool, look at Bart's. No permit. Sell oh. shit. <laughs> no, 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 but, dude, you know what's a lucrative business that I found out about? Lucrative as fuck, because I've been going to them. And I sat there and I was like, God damn it. I looked it up. It's lucrative as fuck. Laundry, la laundry mats. Yeah. Dude, all you buy is buy the machine. And if you learn how to fix the machine, you don't need no one else. You learn how to fix the machine, you just stand there, kind of clean it up, it runs itself, and you just put on fucking TV for fucking Mexicans and put on Telemundo. It depends on what and, area. And dog, it's... Because well, you I know, go, like... I like, go in there and waste laundry, 20 bucks every but, time I do laundry. It's not cheap. And then if Laundry you mats, though, like, only exist money, in, like, dog. underfunded areas, though, to be honest. Because I've never seen a laundry mat in a rich neighborhood. Yeah, because the apartments have because it's in an apartment. I get that part, but there's money to be made in laundromats, dog. E cada vez que vas a la bar is twenty bucks. I've seen one or two, but like like you said, um, there's a lot more in under you know underdeveloped towns or whatnot. You know, black and brown. Yeah. And you know what else is a like, like you think laundromat people is like even los negros y los mexicanos. <laughs> like like another money grab. Hay que poner lavadoras, no tienen. Exactly. Like the uh, another one that's pretty fucking lucrative is the self wash. Car washes. 
What about? I thought about owning a those, car wash. Those make good money. Yeah. It's all cash. It's all cash. Mm -hmm. They run themselves. You just need one this one fucker out. there. That's kind of keeps make sure the homeless ain't around. Yeah. You pay seven. You pay him fucking minimum wage. I would have like a like a gun fucking <laughs> a gunslinger ready security be like, hey fool, one homeless. You would run here. Here's his laser. It sets fires. Pointed at the tent. <laughs> and they're all twenty four seven. Yeah, it's all twenty four seven. No, not all the car oh, washes. Yeah, should, yeah, but, yeah, well, not all of them. They the self serve yeah. ones, I've seen them. Like I've seen people there at Ten. three a.m. Like Ten. I've seen, I've washing. seen them late. Yeah. Like, oh, like the one uh, by Tams. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Like those. Yeah, for sure. But those you don't have stuff that you can't really take. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I would. I've thought about having my own. Like, like fool. I would have like the high and hungry car wash dog, where you where you would have like a burger stand or something like that, where you just make quick, just a little hut, bro. Where you just make quick, quick burger and fries and switch it up to ceviche on the weekends, and then have this fucking like it's all themed, and then have a fucking uh, a, a fucking um, vending machine where I sell all the products, like fucking um, like all the air fresheners or all high hungry characters. It's all in theme, dog. That's tight. And then the fucking entrance to the fucking car wash is like the burger has his mouth open, and you're going in. The, that would be sick. That's tight. I've, I've drawn it out a few times, but it looks like a very shitty drawing. But one day I'll show it. <laughs> one day I'll show it to Chili. Whenever I get property developing rights. Did you see that? Did you see that? What? Laundry mats have panty bandits. There's a dude in Fresno that's been steaming panties, making it panties empire. Dude, that's wild. That's crazy, fool. That, that They take that. To, if you somebody, get sold for that? Is that stealing? It is stealing, bro. But, like, think about it, bro. Like, I would be scared. I'd be like, this was my ser una brujería. I'm, I'm going to kill this fool. I'm sure a lot of people, like, you know, leave... You know, a couple of items in the fucking wash or in the dryer. They just forget. True. Yeah. You never know. Have you ever gotten anything stolen at the laundromat? No, I well, chill there. I'm not leaving my clothes there. I got a nice clothes. I'm not leaving my clothes there. I left it before there, but it's because I knew I was doing towels and I wanted to go get a haircut real quick. I'm surprised. Because I only left them in a wash and then I came back and I put them to dry. But I'm so over the laundromat. I'm glad George fucking hired me back to do laundry. <laughs> what are you fucking Dwight Schrute? This this will literally like he's, that, he's on Sony he's doing laundry at George's house. I was like, why does he keep getting up? And he was like, and I was like, this was tired, but he has laundry in there. The wash is over. I was fucking so tired, but I had to do laundry. Do you fold it when you get home or, or right yeah, there? I fold it when I get home. Oh, that's whack. You gotta fold it when it's hot. All right, well, that's a question on the table. You do have to, but all right, all right. Question on the table: When you when this when it shits out the dryer, do you fold it right away? You have, you have to. to. I don't yeah. have time. It's already two in the morning at George's fucking house, dog. I'm not gonna sit there and fucking while he's trying to go to sleep with this lady, dog. I get the fuck out of there and go and I just iron my clothes when I get home. Damn. What, what about you? Fold it right after, Ray? Yeah, I fold it right after. Yeah, me too. I try to like this morning. I couldn't though. I tried to fold all the all the important shit and I left all the little socks. So and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, man. Oh, by the way, update on my cat. Meow. I can pet him now, dog. Like a lot. Yeah, like, like a lot. I, I can give him scratches, dog. Okay, there you go. Like this fool eats from my hand. He's cool. He fucking, he like, he lets me fucking scratch him behind the ear. I pet him. I mean, it's not all the time. He's yeah. still kind of like, hey, fool, don't creep up on me when I'm eating and shit like that. But like, but this fool, he's, he, he's, he finally turned a new leaf, dog. So I was like, I didn't think it was going to happen, dog. But I was like, oh, shit. I was scared to touch him because like. He lets me know, like, when it's like, hey, fool, I don't want to be petted. Like, he raises his little hand and he does this, this fucking weird ass shit. I was like, are you trying to make me flinch? Hey, like, like. Did you see that? What? I left my pro pen in my apron at work. Pretty yeah. sure my boss has it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to your boss. Hopefully he can tag you on. Tell him to tag you on. Just that was in there. That was in there uh, straight out fucking. Just fucking tell him no pen or uh, pro, pro pen or no pen, dog. To see what he says. See if he knows what you're talking about. He'll know. Straight out fucking tell him, bro. Tell him pro pen or no pen. Blinkers. Hit nothing but blinkers. Or give it back. Hey, but you know, but <laughs> <laughs> speaking of pro pen, speaking of pro pen, let me take this moment to let you guys know about the stores where you can find the one and only pro pen collaboration Ooh. with flavors by e-zone whether you want the regular distillate one or you want the rosin one or you guys want the carts ones because these are just as great and they they have just this quality oil in there it's just sometimes availability is key so don't be scared of the carts because th these will go through metal detectors too you just got to have the right battery, and I can let you know which one it is. Sometimes we sell the cart with the battery in some of those kits. But at the following stores, you can get yourself a Flavors by E-Zone Propane Collaboration. 
Catalyst Bellflower, Catalyst El Monte, uh, Catalyst Cherry Long Beach. And for all my people in the middle of nowhere, Catalyst Hemet. Make sure you guys stop by those Catalyst stores and get yourself a Flavors by by Pro, Flavors by Ezone Pro Pan. Also, one of the first stores to fuck with me until this day, I fucking fucks with them back. Thank you so much to the one and only Goat Global in South LA. Much love to them. I do many pop-ups there. I got another one I'll be doing there too. I got love in the hood and they got love for me back. Goat Global in South LA has pro pens. Goat Global in Humboldt Eureka has pro pens as well for all my people up in the Bay. Also, for my people in San Bernardino and Lake Elsinore in San Bernardino, Ooh. hit up my people at Cake House in San Bernardino. And for my people in Lake Elsinore, hit up Nug Hub. That make sure you hit them up. Uh, my on Elsinore, pull up, big bad Elsinore. Yup, and they sell out quick. Believe me, I've been hearing back, and we've been getting reorders. Thankfully, <laughs> also for my people in the valley, go to Green Angel Eight One Eight, one of the original stores, to start picking us up as well. And my delivery people, hit up uh, what is it, Green Moon on Pico, and to stocked up today because I know it's being dropped off. Squint store from the Sandlot. And uh, what is it on uh, called Foreign on Pico Ooh. has just stocked them up. They got the brand new rosin ones and the other ones. Hey, let's bring them back. He's been it's been a while. Since yeah, we're gonna past. bring them back. And and damn, that's not all. Damn, I'm I'm going through all of them. So, uh, also for my people in Arizona, the Healing Center, the Healing Center in Needles in Arizona, they have pro pens as well. Flavors by Ezone. Go ask for them. They have them as well. And as of last night, the following stores that I will be telling you guys know, Fino's. Has what is it? Has uh, what is it? Uh, pro pens. Blue Fire Collective has pro pens. Firehouse Collective has pro pens. Flavors in Santa Cruz has pro pens. Pax has pro pens. And Patients Care First now carry Flavors by E Zone pro pens collaboration. So thankfully, thank you to you guys that made it happen, and thank you to all the shops that believe in the product and really fuck with me, cause I go all the extra mile to really make this happen for you guys, and to all the patients that really buy the product thank you for all the shops that really put us in your shelves it really means a lot helping us go from a small business to a medium business to a big business and it's all because of you guys so i would appreciate you guys and tag them tag us in your next store let us know i will tell Vinny, and we will send the sales rip over there and give you the best deal that you can get straight up damn man i, I can't oh. I used to only video. have four stores. Uh, as I say, you got to make a video for that, dude. I I know, no offense. Are. I don't want to hear it. No offense. I love it, but. <laughs> this, <laughs> is the first, this is the first I time know, I ever have out. a list. Yeah, no, that's a fucking. So make a video. Like, it'd be dope just to have a fucking. This is the first time I ever have, like, a legit list like that where I'm nice, looking at dope. it. And it's just like, okay, like, because I put, like, Vinny put it together and. I'm I'm gonna we're gonna have different breaks for the and I'm gonna Dog, I think it. we should make a video at the one in Lake Elsinore and let me take you to my hometown. We can go paintballing we can go on the lake. Yeah, dog, and I'll see if I can get some some of the homies to pull up. But yeah, dog, it's dope that you're in like also. They punk you, dog. Like, that's dope. Yeah, but uh, thank you everybody, and uh, damn, it's about that time. <coughs> oh, <coughs> Ray, <coughs> shout outs. Shout out to everybody who tuned in this morning. Follow me at Morning Shot Films IG and YouTube. Check out the Morning Reels, my podcast <laughs> of movies. I review all kinds of movies. I put out hereditary so if you're into horror films check that out tomorrow i will be putting out orphan and orphan first kill as a double feature and i'm gonna put out princess mononoke on the following day so yeah i got a lot of stuff coming out and see me at december 16th for the pop-up it's gonna oh, be yeah. fun Xavier hit that like button subscribe and then we got some new tinfoil hat beanies uh there's literally only like seven left if I'm not gonna make any more I might so I don't know but go to sam uh samtribble.com or tinfoil hat t-shirts for those beanies they're dope and then hit that like button subscribe and like elsewhere and like ezone set go get those fucking pro pens they're everywhere now you can't sit there and be like Aah. they're everywhere and they're coming yeah. to a store near you, you believe that. me like <laughs> it wouldn't happen without you guys and <laughs> I'll do demos at every single one of these stores if I have to let's do it <laughs> like literally if i have to i would i would do it to, for yeah, the fans you <laughs> should do that that we don't smoke the same and then go see what they have to do in that city and get high as fuck off of propane i think that'd be dope just do a little vlog and shit a little vlog for the city and then represent the city yeah. you know that's, yep. that's dope if they're representing you also do not forget that today's show is sponsored by the one and only tough tethers tough tethers is the one uh, the one, the one thing you need for your puffco experience. Literally, it's a tether that you can put your dabber in there as well, like this one that I was using earlier. Literally, put like you open it up, put your dabber in here. Sorry, I can't do it in the middle of the air. 
Not in the middle of the air, literally, but. Whole can says, shout out to my conguitos. Oh, yeah. What's up? Oh, wait, hold on. I'll tell you about that right now. All right, here it is. There you Let's go. See? Perfect. Boom. There it is. Dab it's, tool. It, your bit, your, dab tool and yeah. your, and your uh, carb cap Ooh. ready to go. Take the dab tool out. Ready to go. Put the fucking carb cap in there. Save it. You don't break it. You're like, oh, damn, it's going to fall. No, it's nope. not. It's going to stay in place. Just make sure you get one. We don't have a special code for you guys, but they are sponsoring the show. Get one for your Puffco, for your Puffco Proxy, for your Puffco Peak, Puffco Peak Pro. Go ahead and get that for your for your uh, Puffco uh, utensils and stuff like that. And um, yeah, at uh, 400 subscribers, I will get a Conguito tattoo and Xavier will get a te uh, Tecate, Tecate tattoo. tattoo. Also, don't Tecate. forget... A yeah, don't forget to register for the toy drive. If you're interested in vending, please hit me up. I still have a few booths available, so go to highandhungrytoydrive.eventbrite.com. Uh, everything's there's going to be a uh, DJ Seaboss going to be DJing, 20% off all the beers. We're going to be able to drink, smoke in the back. We have a nice little fucking section for us, so make sure you guys have it. We are going to get the Christmas tree next episode, so tomorrow there will be a Christmas tree. And yes, Ooh. if you guys want to send us ornaments, we can send you the address so you can send us the ornaments. He, like we have a lot. The tree's going to be looking beautiful this year. Uh, let's get into the holiday spirits. Um, am I forgetting something? Flavorsbyezone.com. My Christmas ornaments will be going. Please don't get a conguito tattoo. I saw that. Uh, what is it? Uh, what, is it what, what is it? My uh, Christmas ornaments will be going on the website today. Today. So they will be on the website today and a couple other items as well. Flavorsbyezone.com for all the cool stuff. I have so much stuff that I've been listing up. Do your holiday shopping and support small business. Go support Ray website as well. Get you one of the other high and hungry shirts. And uh, I will see you on the Green Thumb show. And like I said, thank you so much for getting us at your propane store.